Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, welcome to the stream. We're going to be doing some coaching live today. Sorry if my voice sounds like I'm a little tired. I just woke up probably around 29 minutes ago. Rush took a shower, that was the fastest shower I ever took in my life. I stayed up way too late last night. Just practicing, grinding away, thinking about things and... Well, time got away from me and so I'm a little on low sleep. That's okay. By the way, today's stream is going to be... Is coaching live. We're coaching live. I have Carjo, uh, Brian, as well as Anita. They're all from the Discord, and it's all free. I just drew randomly of people who applied, and I gave like a time frame. It was all done through the Discord. The Discord has grown so much. It has grown so much to the point where I didn't e even need to advertise the coaching on on YouTube or anything. You guys have just really been around, which is really awesome to see. Um, Luckily, uh, I know Karjo's a member. You don't have to be a member. This is a, not a sponsored stream at all. This is actually just the fact that I want to... I, I just want to I want to coach. I just want to do it for free. It's free. I'm not charging anybody. This is just what, what you guys asked for in the community. And I was like, you know, it's time to do it again. And uh, we do these sessions because, well, I think it helps, uh, helps out. I think it helps people out. I'm going to call Karjo now. And uh, we're going to, the, the segment, how coaching works and how I do it. I like to spend 30 minutes doing a 1v1 and then I do 30 minutes in game. That's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. And, and then we, we give as much tips. I get to feel out the type of player they are, where they play aggressively, if they cut angles correctly, how they f play 1v1s. And then I give tips at the very end of what they can do to improve and get better and stuff like that. Whether it's aim training or not, you know, I, I get to kind of give tips and advice. Okay. So let me call Karja. I'm give him a call in Discord here, so it's gonna lag for a second, just because I'm tabbed out. <clears throat> Yo, Karja, what's up, man? Sorry, my voice cracked there. What's up, dude? Hello. Good morning. Good morning. I'm sorry, I'm just waking up myself, man. Yeah, that's all good. No worries. You might actually just absolutely dumpster me this morning because I'm still waking up. Okay. So the way the coaching works, do not stress whether you win or lose these one v ones. The whole point is actually for you to improve, not for me to flux and win any 1v1 so if I win awesome if you win awesome it doesn't really matter because the whole point is focused on you on your improvement I don't go lightly yep. on these 1v1s remember pick up a wingman uh, with uh, purple attachments and whatever is your favorite site an R99 with all the attachments that you could dream about except for a barrel stabilizer and a stock I'm gonna drop my gold right here grab that and then just grab a crap ton of ammo What's up, man? I'm happy to go to most um, attachments. Uh, yes. It doesn't bother me at all. All right, let's uh, you know, wingman. Backpack. Yep, grab everything here. All that whole line of stuff. Right all this here. stuff right here. Yep. So, chat. The reason why we're using this loadout and I'm giving all the at these attachments is that this is pretty much. The wingman is for precision. The R99 is for learning recoil control. Okay, you're gonna be wraith, so we're a consistent hitbox. Uh, yep. Let's see what I'm missing. You got your attachments. You got your light mag level three. You got your wingman with level three and your favorite sight on it. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a nice sight. Okay, uh, that works. That works. Yo, I Io, what's up, man? Good to have everyone here, by the way. Good morning. Hopefully, everyone is doing well. <clears throat> I'm still waking up myself, so I'm going to absolutely get dumpstered here. And if I don't, well, hey, you know the beauty of this is that you get to see what happens when somebody actually really warms up in the morning. And then uh, Karjo, well, Karjo's going to kind of did win a match. You what? I kind of did just win a match. Oh, that's perfect then. Hey, if, if you're warm, that's that's even better. For me, I'm, I'm, just, a, I'm just a target dummy here. I'm just a... This is a target dummy, so then you can improve. Okay, so ready? What we're going to do opposite sides of this box, and we are going yep. to do 1v1s. However, which way? Five 1v1s, initially, just so I can kind of do it a quick assessment. Uh, win however sure. way you're most comfortable winning, okay? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Change settings. Remember, do not stress. It's all it's all for the I'm sake of improvement. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> Alrighty. 
we go again. Ready? Three, yep. two, one, go. They spotted me. Okay, three more. <clears throat> Make sure to twirl, twirl your guns so that they don't, they don't get caught, catch you up. CSJ, what's going on, buddy? Three more, and then I'll give you a full assessment. Right, three, two, okay. one, go. Yeah. Two more. Ready. Okay. All right. Ready. Three, two, one, go. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. One more. So in case you guys are watching, we are doing an assessment. We are doing coaching free. We do five 1v1s and I start giving tips and tricks on how to improve. So when you're watching this VOD, this may apply to you, this may not. It's a, It doesn't matter your platform because it's all based on positioning, game awareness, and how you approach a fight. So ready, we go again. Three, two, one, go. Yep. All right, yeah. quick assessment. You're 100% a controller or on a very low sensitivity. Which one is it? Um, I think I'm at sensitivity of about five, so that's mid. So you're on controller? Yeah, I'm on controller. Okay, okay. So that's what I meant, low sensitivity, because I didn't know if you are on MK or controller. So you are, you're on controller, which is fine. I, 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 I kind of figure that out. Oh, your your icon says controller, darn it. You're on console. <laughs> All right, well, well, that, I wasn't paying attention to that. But that makes sense. Okay, so your your, your console, your uh, your sensitivity yeah. is five, which is a little high, actually higher than normal. Usually, people use three, four, four, four. The biggest thing yeah, that comes with your with with your awareness is uh, that's going to throw you off. And like, I wasn't pulling any punches whatsoever. This is an FYI. Um, is yeah. you you have to really anticipate either PC movement or where an opponent is going to attack from. That's what's really throwing you off. So let's do a few. Let's do a few of these. You're gonna climb up top here. Let's go this way. Climb up top, yep. and we're gonna one v one. And I want to see how consistent you are with an R99 and try to spray down. <clears throat> okay. I'm not gonna shoot back. Okay. Ready? Go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I didn't mean to slide my bad. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Keep going. Okay. Biggest tip I can provide: you gotta breathe. You gotta you gotta slow it down just a little bit. You're you're over flicking and you're doing it on controller. You got you gotta you gotta smooth out the aim once you, once you get into the encounter here, yep, and yep. and really breathe through it. I, I know you're on the stick, so that takes a little it takes a little bit more concentration to do. But move your thumbs less than you think, and let the uh, aim assist kind of you're if you because you're not on PC, you're actually on console console, right? Are you on PlayStation or Xbox? Yeah. PlayStation. PlayStation. Okay. Yeah. So because you have a slightly higher aim assist, I honestly would probably recommend lowering your sense just a little bit, but don't do that for today's video at all. Don't number or today's stream or session, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. What I would focus on primarily, just try to track me, but use your thumbs and try to move. It's a smaller movement than you think. It's not, I know the R99 feels like a heavy recoil. Try moving less, try that real quick in terms of like just letting the track kind of happen and then take your shot. Okay. And just shoot whatever you feel ready. I'm taking shots. And then hold down the spray. Don't try to fight the recoil. Just let the recoil be a part. There you go. Much better. Okay, so the biggest tip I can provide, especially when you're console, aim not at the head. Aim around my chest level or around the neck even. I would probably say right now aim for the chest to continue to improve and, and find, especially if you're on console. Because the recoil will kick up, and I know that on the sticks is a lot harder to control recoil, but you do have a little bit of aim assist to kind of counter that. It's not going to be perfect, 
but the, the biggest tip I can provide to you is just let it do the work for you. So shoot whenever you feel comfortable and do the full spray. Don't just pepper. Do the full spray. There, look at that. That's it. That's yep. huge. Do you feel that? That's a, hu a huge difference, right? Yeah. Yep. I'm okay. Sure. Perfect. <clears throat> now that we got that out of the way, the biggest thing, once you have the setup that you need to improve upon is getting surprised. Um, it's really throwing off because it takes you a second and you think that the movement, especially if I jump over your head, of trying to track me, and then when you settle down, you have to be calm again. That same calm that I just showed you where you where you just tracked me, even though I was doing a strafe in front of you, you have to apply this. So anybody who's watching on console, it's a, it, the more you kind of calm down and let... <clears throat> like, aim assist isn't everything, right? But it, it, do, it is there. You don't have to fight the recoil as much as you think you have to fight the recoil, okay? So what we're going to do... Uh, okay. What we're gonna do is I'm you're gonna stand in the other spot and I'm gonna wide swing you. I'm gonna hit you just a little bit. I'm gonna wide swing you either left and right. I'm not gonna tell you which one, and I'm gonna try to surprise you. Okay. Okay. So ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay. Well, again, ready? Three, two, one. Okay, we gotta go again. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, okay, so there's a few things here, and there's a reason why I'm putting this amount of pressure on you. Okay, you yeah. were doing it earlier. Um, grab a ton of light ammo, like all light ammo pretty much. The biggest thing I can give you in terms of a tip here is do not jump. I know on con controller, it's, I don't know if you played any other games like Fortnite or anything like that, but do not I'll jump. Really just... Al always default to a crouch. Do not jump whenever you're fighting unless you are disengaging and going for some sort of wall bounce, which on controller is going to be much harder to do, especially if you're on console. So, oh, yeah, I can wall bounce. Oh, you can I... wall bounce? Let's go. Yep, yep. I understood that quite well. It's more of just not putting any inputs into the controller when you want to do the bounce. Yeah. That makes sense. All right. So, again, I'm going to wide swing you, go on the other spot, and uh, go ahead and heal up for me. Oh, yeah. And what you're going to do is I'm going to keep wide swing you. F pay attention to, I know audio is a meme, but you can hear a bit of audio still. There's still a little bit, even if it's just a little, of where you think I'm going to come from. Because every time you wide swing me or wide swing me, I know where you're going to come from. So I need for you to focus on where the enemy is coming from, calm down, and then take your shot. Don't rush to take the shot. Breathe and then take the shot. Missing the, the first part of the spray of trying to track somebody is a complete waste if you're not going to land half the mag, right? So breathe first, and over okay. time you'll get better and better at landing the shot. So let's go again. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Firing. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Go again. Three, two, one. You're going to stay at the spot. All right, let me switch back and forth. I'm going to keep doing that. You're going to stay on that spot and keep anticipating with me slide jumping around the corner. Okay, ready? Three, okay. two, one, go. We go again. Three, two, one, go. Again, hold your shot. Breathe. Breathe through it. Hold your shot. I want you to wait before you take a shot. And then really try to guess where I'm coming from, okay? This is this is your biggest weakness. I, I like... Don't jump. Use crouch defensively. Breathe. And then take your shot, okay? That's the, the biggest tip I can provide you. You're... The, the more you slow it down, and as long, and you know, even if you step away from this coaching session, the biggest tip to provide it for anybody who's watching a console is to really slow this down. Like, don't rush to get the shots because he here's here's the reality. Let's say if I take shots and I'm trying to track him, and I hit him just a little bit, and I have to reload. It's better to land the full mag rather than just met, you know land a couple of shots, right? That's that's what you're trying to aim for instead of instead of missing. Half the mag and doing half the damage is better to wait two seconds and then do full amount of damage rather than relying on a reload and then sitting there crouching left and right, left and right. Patience is a really a virtue, especially when you know if you can land your shots close range. Okay? So I'm going to wide swing again. I'm going to keep doing it. And I'm going to keep getting into that pressure situation. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, thanks. It's okay. You're going to keep doing it until you get comfortable. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. There you go, much better. Perfect. Three, two, one, go. Better, better, better. I like it. 
Three, two, one, go. Better, look at that. Even I try to throw you off a little bit. Much better. Let's keep doing this for another two minutes. So everybody in chat, tips, 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 tips. Play patiently. Wait, do not shoot right away. Patience, 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 especially if you're on controller. Land those shots. Don't rush to land the shots because you can't really chase somebody who's on mouse and keyboard, but you can definitely fry them if you wait patiently enough. Those two seconds, yes, are going to be vital, but if you completely one mag them or do a lot more damage, it's going to be way more impactful. Remember that. That's why you have your sidearms to switch to if you need them, okay? Ready? Three, okay. two, one, go. Better. Stand right at the box so I throw you off more. Three, two, okay. one, go. Better. Better. Let's go, dude. Three, two, one, go. Better tracking. You waited, too. Good stuff. I completely threw you off because I purposely tapped strafe over your head to do, like, some movement to really throw you off. Ready? Again. Three, two, one, go. Again, three, two, one, go. Better, let's go, dude. Very nice. Three, two, one, go. Perfect. Now, it's it's okay if you're gonna be a little slower because you're on the sticks and I'm really throwing you off and you have to really pay attention to where they're coming from, but that is gonna be the key of everything, right? Yep. Trigger discipline, exactly, okay. Chevy. Trigger discipline, patience, patience, patience. So what we're gonna do again is I want you to get comfortable with that calmness kind of kind of shook you up a little bit purposely you're going to climb up here and continue to one mag me okay we're going to do that five times ready three two one go I'm taking shots. Yeah. and just keep doing it over and over again keep climbing up all right much better much better let's yeah. go again three two one go there you go very nice very nice we go again. Three more. Three, two, one, go. I've got a bit of a lag that one. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Two more. Three, two, one, go. That was it. Now, the thing you have to blend together. Now I'm talking over while you're shooting. Keep going. Keep shooting. Is you really have to focus on making sure you don't accidentally hit other inputs. Okay? That one's going to okay. be tricky for you because I see you punching in the air sometimes. I see you miss climbing, all that fun stuff. And that's just an issue whenever you're on controller. Right? If I'm going to be honest, I haven't punched the air for like months until today. <laughs> okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. It just happens for some reason. Hey, you know, as, yeah. as long as it doesn't happen consistently and you keep calm the way you're doing with your, with your settings right now, I, there's a lot of other things you can work on, but this is your base. This is because then everything else will start to come together. It's like using a wingman, right? This time we're gonna climb up. I'm gonna shoot back. Okay, you're gonna feel that pressure. Again, if anybody is enjoying the stream, this is a coaching stream. This is live. Uh, doesn't matter your input. Carjo is actually on console, so coaching somebody on console is the same as coaching somebody on PC when you're trying to teach fundamentals of positioning and everything. Uh, coaching is free. I don't um, charge anybody for this. I do it because I enjoy it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, so there's a difference when I'm shooting at you. The reason why there feels like there's such a difference, can you answer in your in your thoughts, why is it much more difficult when I'm shooting at you? Well, I do have an issue with the aim assist, to be honest. I have it turned down a lot more. I don't like it as much as most people. Yeah. Um, uh, I guess it's just sometimes you do physically disappear and reappear. <laughs> That's fine. But that's just the way it is. So why it's more difficult is because of aim punch. Is actually the answer. Yeah. Because whenever I hit you, whenever you're flush, your recoil is going to bounce a lot more. You know what aim punch is, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. So we're gonna go again. I'm gonna I'm not gonna lighten up at all. <clears throat> the reason why is because I want you to feel that pressure and I want you to remember what that pressure looks like whenever you're getting shot at so you can visibly see it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. There you go. Very nice. Look at you shooting right through it. Perfect. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it, dude. You're learning very quickly. Thank you. All right, ready? We go again. We're going to go again. Three, two, one, go. Oh, okay. 
It's okay. You see, you see what happened whenever you waited, though. Even if you messed up a little bit, look at the damage pool. I know you took a few shots. I was uh, about three and a half cells down, and I cracked you. Right? Look at the damage yeah. dis discrepancy. Even though you you took the damage first, even if you take a mm -hmm. moment to breathe and you wait, it is perfectly fine to try to do maximum damage rather than yeah. rush it. Realistically, you should never be in this one v one scenario. This is a FYI. So we're in game. I'm going to be grilling you on positioning in terms of how you engage into a one v one. Okay? Because you okay. never, you always want to get the jump on an opponent, which is why I, right now, we're kind of teaching you more the defensive. But realistically, you want to get the jump on an opponent to making sure that, well, you can win your fight. Because if you ever are in that encounter, you didn't have the jump on the opponent, then you're kind of doing it wrong. Unless you're kind of go for like the clean one v. Uh, unless you're just trying to trade damage for the sake of trading damage at a distance. I don't know. What's aim punch? Aim punch is whenever you are shot and you ha are on flesh and your weapon will kick up more because you're being hit. Not for armor, but for regular HP. All right, so let's swap back and forth. Let's go again. When you reload, it slows down your movement. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And you have to wait longer so then when you wall bounce and do stuff like that. Okay, so we're going to do heal up. Hi. <laughs> I want you to push me strategically at a distance, okay? So what do I mean by that is I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what it looks like first and foremost, okay? So start here. Might be something good this way. Okay. And I'm gonna work my way over to you. I've done this in a video before actually. And it's gonna be harder when you're on controller. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take shots and work my way in. And I want you to shoot me from this distance. I'm gonna work my way in towards you, okay? Okay. Nope. I will admit, this is my weakness. I know. And any controller player, this is going to be their weakness. But what I'm going to highlight here is how you work your way in. And that's why I'm, I'm giving you kind of this, this lesson. Because I think it's very applicable to anybody on controller, anybody on console. Range is going to be your weakness, guys. Okay? It's just going to be your weakness. And your goal is to close the gap. So how do you close the gap? So right now, I have Karjo sitting static. And I'm going to trade places. And I'm going to have him work his way in. Okay, three, two, one, go. You can shoot at me. I'm not probably not going to land all my shots. So you see what I did is I already am cutting angles and cutting corners from geometry to geometry. And I'm looking at him. Yeah. And I'm missing. It doesn't matter if I land my shots or not. But I'm putting pressure. You can shoot it back at me, Karjo. Go for it. Yep. Yeah, I'm just having trouble seeing you. <laughs> but a controller player, I know they can't do movement like that, should always work their way in. And working your way in is going to be slide jumping to from cover to cover. And now you're here, close range, right? So what I want you to do, because it is like hitting ants at a distance, is we're gonna we're gonna trade places. You're gonna work your way in from that distance. Something good this way. And you're gonna work so. your way in and closing the gap. Closing the gap is very key. And it, it, think of closing the gap at every which angle possible. Okay. And okay. if, the, if the PC player is good, they're going to land their shots at a distance. But that's when you know you have to take a second and find an angle. So go ahead and work your way and go for it. Okay, pause. Pause right here. Don't move. Don't move. So there's right. something that we that, that I want to cover here that a lot of console control players do. Positioning-wise. Very, very important. Can you stay in the open? Yes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to replicate what, what the difference between the two. So I started, you started here and took shots right in the open. So that's why I headshot you. I gave you purposely this cover because the only thing that was really appearing was your, the upper body. What you need to focus on is realize, stand right here. Uh, you use this as cover right here. You see how where your head is really small. The goal always is to make sure your opponent's hitbox is really small. I'm going to go stand over here and I want to see your hitbox as small as humanly possible. There are some scenarios where it's going to be virtually impossible to do that, but at least you'll know what to anticipate in that peak. So again, I'm right here. And I want you to, to cut the corner until you see me. There you go. See, you know, see how the only thing that is only appearing, you see it at that angle, back up a little bit. Cause I can see your body. Yeah. Okay. Is wait until you see the crevice of just me. Like if I were like, you see where I'm, I'm a, um, you can see me here, right? Yeah. Okay. But but your hitbox is smaller. You're half the size. Literally half. You're half the size here. And so am I. 
So you could take your shot and right, reposition yeah. and then go to a different angle, right? So go ahead and heal up. Let's go again. Always keep that in mind as, 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 you're, as you're going. And I'm going to pause you. When I say pause, completely freeze where you're at. And let's work out why that's not a good good position, okay? Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Good, good, good. Not work. And then what happens in the scenarios they end up doing this? They start pushing you back because they got the crack. Okay, so let's assess what you did there. It wasn't wrong. And the wall bounce, remember, this is what happens at higher tier, lo top, here, tier lobbies. Your first poke here was not bad at all. Remember there are some scenarios and you did have this here to kind of block, which made the shot a little bit more difficult, which is why I didn't have any feedback on it. Because realistically, sometimes you're gonna have to peak an angle that you just don't have the option of having geometry that'll favor to cut your hitbox in half. But the mistake that happened is when you do peak, even if you're on controller, think of it like CSGO and Valorant, if you've ever seen it, they have to be quick peaks. If you hold even for two seconds, you're a stationary target. The stationary targets are easy to hit just like this. Just like the target dummies that are standing there, right? It's the same thing. If I hit you once, I know my follow-up shots are going to hit. That's why it's so easy to do. Now, your rotations should be, if you hear them take a few shots and they're holding, take a different angle and it, maybe you can slide jump after. While a wall bounce can be very effective and is great movement, remember that even a wall bounce like, like this off this geometry here, is it going to delay anything? You're not going to your path. The only way a wall bounce is effective is if it help you get to your location, right? You gotta, you gotta always think of a wall bounce that way because at higher tier lobbies, no matter the movement that you do, like I've one of you won against like, you know you know who Sore Hollow is, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. So he super glides, which you just did just now. If, even if you super glide, the movement is, per, is very predictable. So essentially they fly up in the air and it would go, it's very predictable movement. And so is a wall bounce at a certain high tier lo level. If they're wall bouncing, it means they're not shooting you. And if they're not shooting you, it means you have the upper hand. It's why pros at a very high level don't always use movement. And you have to kind of assess, is movement going to win me this fight? And is movement not going to win me this fight? It's why I have you kind of slow it down. It's weird because Apex kind of plays like a Valorant in CSGO, but with movement. Realistically, anybody yeah. who comes over, I tell them to slow it down. Think very, very smart. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to show you how to find positioning, and you're going to see it from the outside perspective. So come over here, and we're going to go again. And then we're going to go in game, and we're going to apply what we've learned so far, okay? Okay. All right, so let's do it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. I'll talk through my thought process so you hear it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to keep my hitbox small. Oh, I assess where you're at. My hitbox is really small, and I'm kind of using a peak. Jiggle peek to take a shot. If I don't, don't land a shot, it's fine. There we go. I land a shot. I put pressure. I'm going to rotate because I know I put pressure on you. I'm going to chill around the box here. I'm going to wait again. I'm going to climb this here because I know my hitbox will be small. I'm going to take a few shots. If I miss, it's fine. See if he hits me back. And I'm trying to claim some dominance. I know my hitbox is small and I'm going to be hard to hit. There we go. Hit 45 damage. I'm going to slide into this other angle. And I'm going to keep moving forward. I see he's taking shots, so I'm going to move forward a little bit more again. I'm going to wide peek this for just a second. I'm going to peek the other angle just to throw them off. And then boom, I'm here. So you see how the pressure of just kind of working your way in makes a really big difference, right? Yeah. That's how I want you to think. Like, controller players and console players, I don't know why don't do this enough. And it's very easy to tell. They rely so much on their aim rather than on the positioning. If you have both, Carjo... You're going to be unstoppable so review this vod think about how my hitbox and how small it is how we can make it small so then you can win your fights all right okay get that line anticipate where the enemy's at slow it down i, I mean I, even with positioning i can't stress enough slow it down slow it down slow it down so then you can make a play so let's let's hop into a game together and I'll see it. I'll, I'll probably see these same mistakes in game, and it's fine. Pick your ideal legend. I think it seems to be Rampart, right? Yeah, Rampart Watson currently. All right. We'll do a duo together. 
Any tips to consistently super glide on console? It's a good question. Um, I would honestly focus more on positioning and everything besides movement, but because you're asking tips for super gliding specifically, it's just going to take a lot of patience, man. So if you don't land a shot, should you move up? If you notice, okay. If you notice they have a wingman and they have a certain gun and they shot five times, they're going to reload. And if you catch them during a reload, that's when you move. So if you know somebody sprayed half their spray already, you know that even on the cross, either they reloaded already or during the cross, they're going to have half a mag, which means they can't one mag you. They can't one mag you whenever you're going. That's, that's the, really the key. Again, if you're enjoying any of the coaching, don't forget to leave a like. Every little bit helps support the channel for today. Appreciate everyone who's here already. We're just getting started. Uh, this is live coaching. I'm just trying to give some tips best I can. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's the beauty. You, you kind of have to really count their mag. If they shoot three times and they hold, maybe they're reloading, right? You can kind of guess their gear based on how how long they're they're shooting when they're shooting when they're not, you know? <clears throat> yeah. All right, so in game, Rampart's really good, honestly, for a lot of console players because you're creating cover where it doesn't exist. So if you get caught out, well, you got yourself a wall that you can put up. Here's last time locking up. How do I enter to get free coaching? We draw them randomly within the Discord. It's just a random drawing. I'll, I'll like say a date, and then everyone will just get drawn randomly. How do you hit wingman shots on PS4? Patience and slowing it down and then practicing it within the test range at a distance. We'll drop here. Okay. All right, where, where are you going to land for loot? I'll go over here. Okay, I'll be I here. I should pick down now. We got one team of those. I need a little bit more ammo than that. I need something. Cracked Watson on the left. Still gonna hit the feet. Being pushed. They haven't done any damage to me and they're both cracked. Are they being shot at? Let's back up. What guns do you got? It's on. Uh, P20 and F8. And Eve 8? Okay. We can back up if we need to. Remember I mentioned closing the gap? Be sure to be quick on the loot if you know there's a team nearby. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Alright. I just picked up a little heavy because I didn't have any heavy whatsoever. Uh, I've got 40 on me. You're good, you're good. I got enough. I don't need it. Oh, okay, nice. Alright. We'll take hide up here. Shall we head this way? Sure. They're on the roof here. 70 on the one right here. I know you don't have the ideal guns. With you, with you. Nice, good stuff. Looted stuff, covering. Prioritize armor swaps. Armor swap, armor swap. Yep. That is one thing I do need to get in the habit of. I did try to avoid it when I was still learning. Oh, that's a car. Taking that. There you go. See? It gives you all your loot. Prioritize those armor swaps. And that loot quickly, though. You know, you're good to go now. So let's let's rotate together. Kind of always work at this momentum. And I know it's going to feel stressful, which is why I'm also going to tell you to slow it down and not stress as much. Oh, Arkstar, let's move. Let's rotate this way. I don't have any. I got one bat. Six cells. All right, I'm using my last bat. No, because I'm up here. Okay. Crack Gibby. I'm gonna push him. Nice, good stuff. There we go. Swap, swap, swap. Okay. I had a white, so I'm not gonna use that. And during this time frame, you should be good to go. Even if you're on, on console. All right, let's rotate, let's go. Okay. I got caught out for a second. 
All right, I got a bat. Try to take angles whenever you're fighting to take take shots best you can. I'm gonna use your uh, your cover here. Knocked him, pushing up, queuing up. I'm gonna ult him. The other guy's running. He's booking it. There's a whole nother team. Whole nother team. Get a reload. Trying to cover for you. Heal up, heal up. I'm here with you. Crack the Watson. All right, last one's up top. Cracked. Moving up. I'm going to push him. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, so the biggest thing that you got to work on with this is just pacing and moving quickly and efficiently. I know it feels very overwhelming moving at this pace, which is why I'm not stopping the kind of the pacing. So yeah, there's the, there's a there's a lot to, to kind of unpack here. So there's a few things that every second really matters with what you're doing. So there's a few moments where you could have healed, you could have taken an angle, you could have shot. And making the split yeah. decision of whether to push or not push. Uh, so, things that I did there specifically is like once we, I saw we did damage, once we isolated opponent, that we kind of went for it, or flat out, I guess we we didn't go for it, whichever whichever way. But you got to move at that pace. You got to be able to to kind of keep moving. So make sure your health is always up. Your health right now, you haven't healed up yet. Even if there's a fight, fill up the seconds, fill up the time. It's okay to take the time to heal up. It's like you move at breakneck speed, but then you slow it down, if that m makes sense. I know that's kind of a hypocritical statement, but... Like, even as I'm moving right now, I'm, I'm healing and then bunny hopping as I take a different angle. And I take a different approach. Okay. I do plan to get bumpers too, so bunny hopping may become an option. Yep. And don't forget to top off, so you haven't topped off yet. Yeah. Uh, try to prioritize topping off if you know that the moment is slow if there's nothing happening right now so right now the only thing the only information we got is that they're in this building and they're hunkering down so if we're not healing it just means that they're continuing to get more damage more damage more damage right so there's no yeah. reason not to to heal up and i'm not going to push unless i either get one a lot of damage or two i realize that you're you're weak so i'm not going to push because i know i'm going to be by myself right but in this instance, yeah, right. because they're over there, what guns do you got? I've got a Carl and Evan 8. Evan okay. 8. So, yeah. loadout is also very important. Right now, you're lo you're using two guns where you can't do any poke damage. What, what guns do you feel normal or comfortable at shooting at mid-range? Uh, I'd have to go the triple take or the bow check. Any of them. Okay. Have any of them. What I would practice in the test range is the whole slew of what would be a ranged weapon. I know that, that okay. they don't have any ranged weapons. That's perfectly fine. Let's go. I'm going to go look at the boxes to kind of assess what was there and what wasn't. So let's see here. Wingman was here. That's an option. Spitfire is a decent mid range because you could just keep spraying. Hemlock can be pretty decent at mid range. It's better than the Eva 8, right? So I know those aren't perfect. Like, even if I were to drop you my Sentinel because you felt more comfortable with it, dropping that Eva 8 and using that other weapon, at least you can poke and just spray. And even if you're playing Rampart, you know, Spitfire is pretty good, because at least you can reload it faster, right? Yeah, uh, yeah I'm just like the same amount of bullets. And I know, I know that pressure that you're fe the, the feeling of like, okay, I gotta loot, I gotta loot, I gotta go fast. Those are the things that you should be running down in your mind. Did I... Let me take a shot at this guy. Oh, because he moved around the corner. Did I armor swap? Are there better weapons that are more, more ideal for me here? Did I hit one for 70? And what resource do I need such as healing? And then you're pretty much in and out of the box. Current armor situation, better weaponry that you feel comfortable with. 70 on this one. We're going to move up here in a second. Oh yeah, 140. We're moving up on this for sure. I'm going to use a Q. You're going to have to kind of jump off of it like midway through though. Oh, I screwed up too. Yeah, I'm a cracked one. I'm gonna bat. 
swap with me and you two? Oh crap, we're getting shot in the back. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yep. We got shot in the back. That's okay. Not a bad fight, see? It's like we have to move at that pace. If you get cracked, immediately back up. Uh, the only downside is that we got uh, run up on by a whole different team in the back by Gibraltar. And she happened to have a Mastiff at this early stage in the game, which is fine. And I know we're kind of co coaching and talking the way through. All right, we go again. Any questions so far in terms of tips? I'm pretty much good. I'm okay. Just let's, let's do the same thing. This time, I'm, we're going to do like a bit of a timer in terms of looting, in terms of what you feel comfortable with. We're going to land a little safer so, we don't, so you yeah. don't feel the pressure of the fight yet. But I want you to go in loot and then be ready for us. It's like, it's like we're, we're getting ready to go to the grocery store. And it's like, what do you need to be able to go to the grocery store to go to go out, right? What what are the necessities? And cut out everything that just feels excessive um, and just kind of work from there. Right there. So I'll land us a, a lot safer though, so then we can rotate and then make a plan and make a play. Again, if you guys are watching, this is live streamed uh, coaching. Uh, car show that th this is free coaching. This is not sponsored nothing. I just wanted to do it I just I just do this stuff because I like to do it. Sometimes it's sponsored. Sometimes it's not uh, This one I just woke up a few days ago you know, this week and I was like I really want to do coaching So we're doing coaching You've been trying to learn the super zip line jump on console. That's also timing. It's like a it's much easier to time It's like a super glide, but it's just hitting the input Don't move try standing next to the zip line and don't move and then just hit the input over and over again. How do you get better at console? Well, Karjo's actually a console player, and that's what we're talking through right now. Positioning, positioning, yeah. positioning, positioning. Okay, we're gonna land here. <clears throat> On the left? Okay. Okay, so where I want you to land is you're gonna land on this railing right here, right? On that full rail, you're gonna go through and loot everything you can. Where I'm gonna land, I'm gonna land okay. right here. I'm gonna loot all the way through, and we're gonna meet over in the center right there, okay? Okay. Whatever okay. guns we get here, however lucky or unlucky, if there was a team here, we, we should be ready to fight. So I want us to treat this section here as if whatever happens, we're fighting, okay? Because this is how okay. fast it should feel to loot. Yeah. And then we'll go to this it building can. over together. I'm pretty much good with every weapon except the 30. The Alright, I'm grabbing the 30. Here's a car. Perfect. Alright, but move at that. When you watch the VOD, you'll see how much faster I went through it. I know it's PC looting, for one. But the pacing and yeah. like what you need in terms of decision making. Like what, what resources do I need and what resources do I not need, right? There's a lot of guns in there. And at this point, here's a boat check. I know you said you like that. Yeah, I'm not too bad for them. And then we're ready to go. We're ready to fight. We got unlucky with armors, so there's a few things here that you can do. We can take it really slow and go loot the armors all the way in the back. This is pubs, so we could just go into the fight. We might as well level our armors by doing damage, right? If we catch a team off guard this early, we're so early to the fight that we should be able to get the or get the dub. So they're over here. I'm gonna go ahead and zip over. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I've already been sitting around for about Five seconds there. I'm gonna go to move forward, and you're gonna see the distance gap of how much time you're taking versus uh, me moving forward, and why there becomes like a distance of why teams rotate so quickly on you, and so forth. I would actually probably be already here if I didn't wait for you, but that's how fast the timing needs to be. If you can eliminate this time, you can just focus a hundred percent all your energy in game in terms of what you need and what you're looting and what you're doing because every second matters because okay. right now they're on the roof fighting and okay. the fact that I'm here right. now we can get the jump on them I think they jumped off I definitely do need to learn how to speed up I think they're down below it's like you speed up only for the sake of slowing down. I know that's it's it's so funny that how that works, but it's like we race to get here so we can catch a team off guard. Where the heck did they go? Listening for footsteps, I don't hear anything. Yeah, underneath us. Yep. 
I fell by accident. Yeah, you're right, 100% underneath. I'm gonna flank. Got a sworn there right here. Queuing up, covering. Yeah, that's insane. Still on the roof. Oh shoot. They're going upstairs. Ah, uh, hold up. I died, I screwed up. Good fight, good fight. You played that really smart. We're also playing a pretty high, uh, high tier lobby, so people are gonna play smarter. We had the right call in terms of trying to find positioning and everything. Wow, this guy's really been clutching up. Go him. <clears throat> Hey, thank you guys all so much for the likes. All right, we'll keep going, we'll keep going. Your thought process was good there. Uh, we dropped, we both thought they were in the same spot, honestly. I guess, you know, Revnet Climb just didn't hear where he was at, essentially. But we had the right idea. Yeah. Um, remember with Ramparts Ultimate, it is very loud. And very I, loud. and there is a big laser, so the Revnet caught you out because of that. I screwed up a few things. On the door, I should have, uh, Honestly, I probably should have ulted it right away. And then um, I should have waited a little more patiently instead of going for a 1v1 when he was in rough form. So I made my mistakes there too, so don't worry. Is he on mobile? No, I'm not on mobile. We realized that it was made of season, season six. To be coached, yeah, we're doing all the coaching in the Discord. Did you check his FOV? Um, we uh, haven't checked his FOV, but honestly, it's personal preference nine. because people play it like Shift plays at like 90. If it works yeah, for I'll you, if it works for you, there's no reason to change it. You just focus more on the well, audio. It's like, yeah, a higher FOV is going to help him find where an opponent is, but there's other pros that also succeed with it. So there's no reason to force him on a different FOV if it's not going to work for him. I'm not in the ballpark of forcing people to change settings just because they work for me. Like, I'm, yeah, I, I use a higher FOV. All right, so we're going to do the same thing here in terms of looting. You're going to land here, run towards the center, loot as fast as possible. We're literally going to meet in the center of Harvester. I'm going to land on the opposite end over here, and we're going to meet in the center, okay? I think I'm getting landed on, unfortunately. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. By the time they catch up to me, I'll be fine. I don't know why I punched. All right. Even if they push me, I should be fine. Just as soon as you're done with that rail, which I just finished mine, come on over. We're all inside the ring. Fantastic. We'll work to catch him out. All right, let's work our way in. And this this doesn't matter if you're a defensive or offensive legend, you always need to keep pushing for optimal positioning to find angles. Finding angles is key. I call this, whenever I play Watson, I call this playing passive-aggressive. passive, passive aggressive. So there's the other angle that I have here. Yes, it's aggressive, but we also have various angles and head glitches that we can play. And then they're just gonna run. Good on, on healing. You're doing better on the healing, so that's that's good. That's huge. You're finding the downtime. You're quick study. You're quick quick learner. Hey, I'm trying to take it as possible. Don't worry. I know it's it's a fast coaching session. Don't worry. All right. I think they ran. So if they're gonna run, we'll just continue looting and we'll go find the left. You no, know, it's actually nice to play duos for once. I don't have access to it. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't in Australia. The duo servers are dead. Oh, wow. There's like four people looking for a game at noon. On console? And that's it. Yeah. That's crazy. Gaming Waffles, thank you so much for becoming a member. You have to co- Oh, comms on me. That's a different team. I'm going to queue the door just to buy yourself some time. 
Remember, fine angles, fine angles. Your defensive legend, it doesn't matter your defensive. Perfect, perfect. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can find an opening. But we keep pushing forward. And then we back up if we can't find the angle. I can't see anything because of the fire. Watch out for an oh shoot. Alright, minimize the damage a bit. I'm gonna back up and heal up. We'll reposition again. Alright. You're gonna anchor here, I'm gonna flank, okay? If they push you, back up to me, okay? Yep. I'm almost there on the flank. I'm almost here. Got him. Coming up. Alright, push, push, push. Unless you gotta heal off. He's low. Probably 20 HP. Nice. Good stuff. There you go. So even though you're a defensive legend, if I put pressure, don't be afraid to, put, to, to sandwich. To put the pressure in there. If that makes yeah, sense, I you know? Quite aggressively. I do not like camping with her. It's not fun. Yeah, yeah. It's, fun. it's more fun to shove a minigun in someone's face. Exactly. <laughs> I think a lot of people make the mistake, one, on console, if they don't slow down the slow down their roll, because they, they push angles without cover, that's the biggest mistake I see for console players, is... Uh, yeah. They also stop or they freeze on positioning too. That's another mistake that I see. But it all it all comes with time. It all comes with time. That was much better. You're already kind of getting used to like the pressure. Like if I was a Watson there, I would have put fences there. Um, and then we just kind of wait for the opportunity. I would have put my gen so then we had like an extra heal somewhere. Um, so the way you're playing Rampart, keep playing it like that and keep encroaching and keep pushing forward. You're the anchor. It is up to your teammate to find an off angle if they're an offensive legend. If we're all just, you know, pushing from the same angle, it's not going to work. If I create an opening or I get a knock or I push forward, that is your window of an opportunity to to to, to sandwich them, to sandwich them in and, and force them uh, to make a decision, right? So, yeah. it, it, like, if I get a crack, even if we're both low, at least we know we have a 2v1 and we should win the fight. And if we don't, then we have to calm to each other and say, hey, we're slowing down the fight, or I need a bat, or I need a heal. So those those comms that are really, really important of you saying, oh, I'm, I'm batting, I'm healing, those are very important comms, okay? Um, okay. To your teammates. And if, if, if they're not on voice chat, uh, it's okay. Maybe just kind of take a mental note of just kind of like, what I do is I mentally just say I'm, I'm healing, even though that makes no sense, but I usually do it anyways, if they're listening or not. Sometimes they'll just blast it over comms anyways, just to kind of force them to listen. Just sheep get, just gave a really good tip for everyone. Stretch, 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 stretch. Drink water, 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 water. Hydrate. These rounds, by the way, in Apex, last anywhere. If you like, if you're in the long term, they can last like 30 minutes. And after two rounds, that's an hour. Did you drink water within that hour? Like, if you were running around, like doing anything, like, are you gonna drink water? Like, you have to, you know. I need another nade. I'm good. <clears throat> do you have bats? Do you have heals? Sure. I've got one bat. Okay, do you have cells? Uh, yeah, I've got six. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah eight now. You ever need resources, don't hesitate to yell at your teammates. <clears throat> Always try to hold grenades. I make that mistake all the time, dude. On Horizon, I, it's a horrible mistake. Always carry your grenades so you can create an opening. I do it all the time, so... Do as I say, not as I do. So if you see me not run enough grenades, that's just me being stupid. <laughs> Yo, Hope, Hope, what's up, man? It's good to see you. What we're doing, if you're just tuning in, we're doing some live coaching. We're having a good time. Carjo's our first person. For about in five minutes, we have our second person who's going to hop in. They're our sessions. 30 minutes in the test range, 30 minutes in game. So Carjo, the biggest thing that he needs to focus on is calming down once he's in the encounter and being patient to ensure he lands his shots. The second thing Karja needs to continue to work on and improve is his positioning. Does he always have a wall or an angle to hide behind? What's helpful is he's using Rampart to create these openings too, which is really, really solid and really good when you saw him use it during that uh, fight in Harvester. He's starting to pick up the pace. I got shot at. I'm going to bat cover if you can, man, because I wasn't paying attention. And I'm going to counter cover. Okay, I'm going to cover for you now. I'm covering for you now. Yeah. I'm ulting them. 
I'm going to queue up a nade. Oh, they're further. I thought they were closer. All right, I got a bat again. Oh, shoot. I got arced. Get away from me. Get away from me. Oh, that's a different team. That's unfortunate. That's not that even the same way. team. I was wondering. I was like, what? How did we get shot in the back? Yeah, that's another team. Ah, oh, well. GG. GG's, man. Hopefully that's helpful. It's not like these are easy lobbies. This is another master squad, too. It happens. Um, MMR is always never friendly when I'm on my main account, you know? Yeah. All right, I have never seen this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, now, now you know how I was tra training you in the test range to feel that pressure? Yeah. That pressure is so important of, like, what do you do decision-making-wise to either get in and get out, right? Um, we got, absolutely got beamed from different angles, and that's just kind of unfortunate. It just kind of happens. It's okay. All right. Yeah. GG's, man. Hopefully that was helpful. Be sure to review the VOD. Message me if you have any questions or there's anything I can do to, to help out further. But just take that as your, as your starting point. Very simple. Very simple tips. Loot it faster. Be quick. Maybe time yourself. Grab like an even uh, a timer um, in terms of like how fast you are. And try to cut yeah. down that time because realistically you can be in and out of an area within 30 seconds at least that's, that, that's like the the pro timer if not even shorter so then you can rotate and do even more um try to find positioning and angles i got caught out there i was yeah. reading chat so that you, like you see how every second really matters like i got absolutely blasted so climbing up and following in my footsteps on my pathing there is going to mean you don't have cover so use the head glitch instead beforehand so you have cover um me, I need to balance between reading chat and making sure we don't get shot at. Because <laughs> essentially, mm -hmm. the, only, the only thing I, I have for recovery is relying on you, which isn't really fair, especially with this MMR. So, again, I, I'm always fast to admit my faults and stuff, too. I'm like, man, that sucks. I should, I, should have, I should have been reading chat or I shouldn't have been reading chat or vice versa. But it's just how the cookie crumbles, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, bro. I hope you found the coaching session helpful. We're going to get the next person in for more coaching, all right? Very helpful. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for signing up and for responding, buddy, all right? Yeah, thank you. All right, we'll chat soon. Just DM me here if you got questions, okay? All right, I will. All right, later, buddy. Been very helpful. Been a lot. Thanks. Okay. We've got our next person who's going to be Anita. Let's bring Anita in. And we're going to do our next coaching session. I don't know if Anita's added me. <clears throat> Good work, Karja. Seriously, man, you were learning so fast. I'm proud of you, bud. That was, that was quick. Quick, quick, quick. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, Anita. Nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? I'm doing very well. Let's get started. Do you have me added in game, by the way? Uh, I do not. Let me do that real quick. You're good. You're good. How do I get to play with you, Daz? We do coaching sessions every once in a while on stream. Um, and then I'm going to do community games here in a minute, too. <clears throat> we we do it all in the Discord. Odd, oddly, I don't actually need to... Um, There you go. Okay. All right. Shut an invite. Is uh, I actually didn't... I don't need to publicize it all the time in... Um, on YouTube anymore just because there's so many people in the Discord. You guys have been like flooding that Discord like crazy. Which has been insane. No worries, King. No worries. So the first person was on. Don't tell me your input. Um, sometimes the, I should have looked at the bottom left of the screen for uh, car show <laughs> being on console. But you're, normally what happens is people play PC, but they use a controller. So I have to guess. So I don't, I'm not used to looking at the icon on the bottom left. So I kind of feel like I'm a Pega. Okay. So the rule of thumb here and you're on pc but don't tell me if you're using mnk or controller don't tell me um grab yourself an r99 with a purple mag and your favorite site then grab a wingman with a purple mag and your favorite site mm. grab yourself a full-fledged fleet of armor all that stuff the gold everything all that cool I stuff there yep. Level five. the first 30 minutes what we're going to do is we're going to 1v1 assess your gameplay give tips and advice it might be the same as Carjo, might be different. Usually what happens is always different. Everyone's got something different to approve upon. And I'm sure you love it. Alright, grab myself a R99. If you win the 1v1, awesome. If you don't, it doesn't really matter. 
because the focus is on you improving. The only thing I'm here to do is pretty much just put pressure on you. So I usually go all out. Uh, I don't really hold back yeah, on whatever. all the punches. Don't, don't hold back. <laughs> I'd I, rather get shit on. <laughs> I want you to just feel the pressure and just know like how it feels to fight an opponent, you know? Yep. All right. Uh, just a reminder, YouTube, try to keep cursing to a minimum. It's not a big deal. Don't stress. Uh, yeah, sorry, thing, I... It's okay. <laughs> don't worry. Trust me. Trust me. It's trust just me. how I've talked. It's okay. All right. What we're going to do, five rounds. Ready? We're going to do 1v1s, five of them. And then uh, we'll just keep going. We'll keep resetting. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Very nice. There we go again. Three, two, one, go. You had to switch an input there for a second? I saw you switch uh, No, I fucking hit my mouse button by accident. You're good. Pants are freezing. You're okay, you're okay. Yeah. Also language, I'll be like Captain America. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it literally Captain America is like, language. <laughs> All right, ready? Three, two, yep. one, go. Oh my god, I whiffed. You'd swing a little wider. <laughs> All right, two more. Three, two, one, go. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Very nice. All right, so you're a very patient player. I'm, I'm pretty sure on MNK. I want to say yep. your sensitivity is relatively high. Probably, I want to say no. like. 14 inches per 360? No! Lord, no! 43. Really? 40? 43. I used to play on 129. Wow, okay. You play yeah, I got some masters on 129. So, so, okay, so, inches or centimeters? Centimeters. Okay, I, 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 ju <laughs> I just said inches. So, 14 inches. Okay, oh. what, I'm, 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 yeah, a, I'm, no. a, I'm a dumb American, okay? So, hold on. Yeah, 14 inches Sam. to CM <laughs> is 35 centimeters. So, what did you say okay. you're at? 43. 43. Okay, so you're probably you're about 17 inches. 43. Yep, 17 inches for 360. All right, got it, got it, got it. Uh, you got really good mouse movement. Uh, I would say you're probably either masters or diamond, right? Masters, yes. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, that was on point with that. You know the big. The, you, you've played CS:GO and Valorant before, right? Valorant, yes. Not okay. I, c I can tell you're very patient. I did that on purpose at the very start. There's very there's there's certain things you can tell from a player. I sat here and waited, and you didn't break. You didn't crumble in a, under any pressure whatsoever. So kudos to you on that. Um, yeah. <laughs> I can tell that your game sense is really, really strong from what you were doing. Um, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm really impressed. You really did not crack under pressure of me just sitting here waiting you out. Uh, what I want you to do, let's try to do climb up the box and just full ego challenge me with um, with a 1v1. We're going to do it like two or three times. Just use the R99, okay? Ready? Three, yep. two, one, go. I didn't mean to fall because I'm a pega. All right, two more. All right. My raw strafe needs work, holy. You're good, you're good. Three, two, one, go. I didn't mean to pull out the wingman. I was so bad uh, at I didn't it. mean to fall either. Such a bad habit. I will yeah. instantly <laughs> switch it to my sidearm. Swap, <laughs> yeah. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Very nice. All right, your sprays are good. Your your pressure at close range is good. I tried different things. I tried wide swinging to the right. I tried wide swinging over you. Every time, you pretty much caught me off guard on what you needed to do. Um, 
I almost want to say probably your poke game is probably what you need to work on the most. I don't think your 1v1s are what you need to work on. Like I, I essentially wall bounced on you. I took different angles. I, I took it slow. I think your 1v1s are fine, to be honest. What we're going to do, I've actually been doing this with Sarah. And I want to see how you do with this experiment. Because I think right. this is this might be what you need to work on, okay? okay? Just a guess, just a hunch. Because if you're masters, it means that you, realistically, you're not always going to get into those 1v1 encounters. So these are ranked tips for anybody who's watching just as an FYI. We're going to grab ourselves a 30-30. You're only going to okay. put a 1x on it. Okay. And the reason I'm having you use the 30-30 because the 30-30 sucks. Uh, yes. put, <laughs> put yourself with a purple mag and a purple stock. Stock here. Level three. But seriously, kudos to you, the really, really strong uh, 1v1s. I yeah, can tell you. Yeah, I mean, Crony and I, we did um, an amateur league. Yep. I started at gold. Gold in January, when yep. it began. And I ended at masters. Very nice. Getting rolled by Preds is <laughs> the most educational thing you could ever do. Oh, 100%. So what we're gonna do here is, okay. uh, I'm trying to think. I wanna see how you work your way in. I'm gonna peek over here and I want you to do damage to me, work your way in, okay? All, right. All the, the same thing like Karja, Let, let's see. Let, I just wanna see how you tackle this. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do um, this. My internet was out when you okay, were- Okay, perfect. Let, let, let me, let's do this here. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to, how to work your way in. Start here and take shots at me way. and put pressure. I'm gonna work okay. my, win, way, my way in towards you. If you succeed with this, I'm going to do another little exercise with you on the right, okay? Okay. And then I want you to try to replicate what we're doing. Because this is this is pretty much how... I'm, your 1v1s are fine. You, you just have to figure out how to create opening damage. And then either anchor and hold or find different angles. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Firing. Problem is I just literally cannot see you. On the okay. last graphics. They spotted me. Taking shots. Very nice. Okay, so you're gonna work your way in that way, okay? Alright. And do the same thing that I just did. I know it's very hard because like you can't see anything. Yeah. <laughs> but that's ranked, right? I have I'm putting you in the worst my... possible scenario using a 30-30 with a with, okay. a with a one X on it. Ready? Yeah. So go. Three, two, one, go. Very nice. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the next level with us. Sure. I'm gonna make it uh, a little harder for you. It's it's funny that like you're a master player, you win your ones. Uh, you're like a good friend of mine, Sarah. So you're, I, I feel like the thing you're trying to find next is to like that next level of like of poke and knowing when to do damage. So what you're gonna do here is you're actually mm -hmm. gonna be down here, and I'm gonna be up top finding That's different angles way. to push on you. Uh -huh. um, all right, so three, two, one. This is, you're gonna be at a disadvantage here, okay? Essentially, and then we're gonna flip flop and I'm gonna show you how to pretty much claim dominance and claim space.
So then you could pretty much win your ones, okay? Sure. Ready? Three, two, one, go. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. All right. We're going to swap them and show you how to pretty much uh, be very dominant in terms of your spacing. So it's it's like Valorant, but the peaks are extended because the time to, to eliminate an opponent is longer, right? Yeah. So you always have to pretty much think outside the box and pretty much claim space, which is what, when you're playing master and pred lobbies is what it's all about. That pressure, that counter pressure. Yeah. Even if you're at a disadvantage. I love off angling. Like, I'm, I'm a race man. I just annoy everyone wanting all the attention. <laughs> all right, ready? Three, two, one, go. What the fuck? You can shoot through that? <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. There you go. So you see where I claimed a, where it, this could have gone anyway in terms of a fight, yeah. but you were at a massive advantage because of your hitbox. But there is a yeah. thing such as like you can predict where somebody is going to peek at, right? Yeah. And you have to lay that counter pressure and showcase a lot of dominance whenever you know you have it. It's such a hard skill set to really teach whenever you have the upper hand. The only time you really back down from the fight is when you no longer have that upper hand on an opponent. Yeah. So I could have Y peaked here and you could have just absolutely destroyed me and I have to find a different way to find an angle yeah. to put pressure. But the thing that most people do, um, and it's something Sarah is also learning to do also, it's it's mm -hmm. it's what I call being a 1% player versus a 0.05% player within Apex Legends. It's being able to ca put pressure where there is no cover or throw people off. Because essentially, me being this wide swung out is not the norm, right? It's like mm -hmm. I'm countering you by doing a play that it's like, why are they putting that much pressure? And so, yeah. <laughs> like, why are they doing that? That's very strange. But it happens all the time in ranked. How many times have you seen how sweet, I don't know, insert your pro player here, Timmy, all of a sudden they pretty much just push it out. And I know this is, it's, it's, it's crazy to kind of talk at this high level because usually what I tell people at the lower levels, okay, play cover, play cover. But as you get to yeah. a very high level, you have to understand how you dominate and claim space. If I'm out here yeah. landing every single shot and you're afraid to peek when, when you have cover, it means that you need to be faster and quicker on the draw to land your shots, yeah. right? That's how fast you have to be for the poke. So whenever you saw me rotate, I'm taking fast shots, but I generally know where your body is gonna be located to land those shots, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to make this even harder for you, is oh I'm going to leave you on the 1x, and if you struggle, then I'm going to continue to drop to a lower magnification. I'm going to use a 2x4 while you stay on the 1x. You're okay. actually going to drop everything um, and just raw, run a raw 30-30, okay? And then we're going to okay. swap, and I'm going to show you how to put the pressure whenever, even though it seems like you're at a massive disadvantage, you'd be surprised what you can do, Okay. okay. And you may surprise yourself here even, because I technically I have the advantage. I got a purple mag, I got a two by four, I have a the the the, uh, the stock, right? Yeah. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, that was just me being stupid. Understood. All right, we're gonna swap, and then you're gonna go the two by four, the stock. And the purple mag, okay? So you're going to go down from down below here. Think outside of the box in terms of positioning. That's another thing. You probably were like, what? Why Why is he going up there? I, I never put yeah. a limit. I never put a limit in terms of what I said positioning-wise. Oh, I've just never been over here, so I, I don't even know like what this looks like. <laughs> which is fine. Which is fine. Which is what happens yeah. a lot in Battle Royale. You never know where stuff can be playable and where you can find that cheeky off angle that just you didn't yeah. think exists is, existed. And that's important for everybody. Everybody who's watching, those angles and stuff that you find positioning-wise, you just... You never know. Just try, look around, try to find a space or angle. So ready? Three, two, one, go.
They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Very nice. You actually did better on the low ground. All right, so what you're going to do now is that you're going to grab a 2x4 and I'm going to drop all my attachments. Or your favorite long range sight on the 3030. Whichever yeah, one I was you about prefer. To say, the 2x4 is ugly. Maybe you want the 3x. Yeah. But you played more confidently there than you did up top, but the top is where you have your advantage, right? I don't know why. I just, I don't like. I don't like high grounds. I don't. I, that's super weird. I. I. I know. It, I know it's really strange, but I don't know. I just don't feel comfortable on them. Like, feels exposed almost. Gotcha. Are you? Um. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second when we swap. Okay. Ready? We go. Three, okay. two, one, go. Opening fire. Those pixel peaks are wild. Getting shot at. Very nice. So you're gonna go high ground now. Swap. Bro, yo, Roman, what's going on, man? Everybody, if you're joining the coaching stream, don't forget to leave a like. Anita's a really great player, by the way. She's a Masters player. Definitely shows her in a game sense. We're very, we're, we are doing some advanced coaching at this point. <laughs> really <laughs> breaking down some gameplay here, okay? All right, so ready? Three, two, one, go. I thought it looked like you. Shot at. Very nice. We go again on that. Okay. Better, better, better. You're taking better peaks and better angles. What you need to do is also do the same thing when you're up top and you're head glitching for quick yeah. peaks. So whenever you're taking the, the shots, essentially yeah, what I- Yeah, just feels so uncomfortable on 30-30. I'd be so much better on wingman. Yeah, which is why I'm putting on the 30-30, because it's, yeah. it's so horrible. <laughs> so pretty much what you got to do is pretty much when you're doing your peaks, crouch and let the the crouch do the peak for you at, the, yeah. at this at this head glitch, okay? So yeah. we go again. Ready? Three. I usually just jiggle it. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one, go. Yep. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Don't know how to eat. Okay, I got rolled. Understood. I'm sorry. Oh, I couldn't land the first shot. The yeah. aim punch on me. Yeah, that's rough. Nice, nice, nice. But there you go. You see how, if as long as it didn't whiff my shot, that should have been my round. But realistically, you would retreat back up, and I can get like high ground from you, right? Yeah. So it doesn't. What I'm trying. The point I'm trying to make here is that it doesn't. It, when, when you're playing ranked at a very high tier lo level. It doesn't really matter what loadout you have. You should always be able to dish out damage with even the worst loadout yeah. imaginable, right? Because if I'm letting headies and you have a fully kitted 30-30 with a 2x4, a heavy mag, and a stock, yeah. and I'm using one, a literally a bare naked 30-30, which is like the worst possible thing because it can literally block your whole body, you know yeah. that you should be able to clutch out a fight, do damage. Yeah. Right? That's That's the biggest key to ensuring that you can win a lot of your fights. Is that poke damage? Yep. Um, let me grab myself a 1x and upgrade myself here. Yeah, she's right. on MK. Do you recommend hip matching hip fire to ADS? Mm, so it's all, sensitivity becomes all personal preference. So when I coach it, if I see that there's a weakness in terms of aim, then I'll have them say, okay, well, your aim is really shaky. Anita doesn't really have any problems in terms of aim. I think her biggest thing is just making sure when she's peaking, that she uh that she's peaking and doing as much damage as humanly possible and claiming yeah. dominance over space 
which she's already doing better now, now that I'm pointing it out to her. But the first 1v1s, essentially she she was peeking and then hiding, peeking and then hiding. She needs to essentially, if she knows she has the damage and she can claim space, claim the space. Unless the other person knows how to jiggle peek super hard and does like a does a, a pop shot. It's like Valorant at that point, you know? Yeah. It's like, yeah, peek is advantage, maybe, right? It can make a big difference. Okay, ready? We go again. Three, two, Three. one, go. Good shot. Let's go. Very nice. Better, better, better. Now we're going to swap. I'm going to put you on the 1x. I'm going to grab the 2x4. Okay? Got it. All I really I should probably just keep using my inventory, but whatever. That works. <laughs> you're going to just have the 1x, and you're not going to have a um, a mag, and you're going to sure. do the same thing again from height. You know, when it comes to coaching, all it really takes is for somebody to kind of point out a few things, and they, yeah. and they start to run wild with it. That's really all it is. Okay, so you take height. Uh, oh, I forgot to put, grab a two by four. Hmm. And we'll get used to shooting, having you shoot ants essentially from a distance, which is the goal. Oh boy. I mean, I already run cog wingman all the time, so yeah, basically yeah. used to it. <laughs> I'm just forcing you to slow it down because of a 30 30. All right. Yeah. So again, what we're teaching here, this is Anita's a master's level player. So what we're teaching is the art of peeking and poking. Right now, where I'm at is a complete disadvantage. As as she keeps mastering, as she keeps beating me, I'm gonna swap it. I want her to understand the pressure of how it gets flip flop. Because it doesn't matter how good you are, hitting an ant at this at this distance with it, with an H cog, you realistically shouldn't win. You're not supposed to win. It doesn't matter who you're playing. If I was playing. Uh, Asu, Timmy, that they should lose that encounter. That's the whole point of like strategy when it comes to playing at a high tier tier lobby. And when Anita's playing with, uh, I mispronounced his name. What's his name? I know he's 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 in the Discord. Crony. Crony. I don't know why I wanted to, wanted to call him something else. So <laughs> when it comes to, to to Crony, I've reviewed his vod. I've given him tips and advice. And it really comes down to positioning. It's it's not that you guys can't win your ones. You guys are very talented gamers, yeah. and that's the whole point. Is that but everyone at that at that skill level is very talented. So it's like, yeah. did you have the upper hand? Did you have better positioning? Did you have a smaller hitbox? And did yeah, you get? Yeah, comes down to literally all the little things. Yeah, which is pretty much what we're covering at this at this level. And then we'll go yeah. in game, and I'll listen to your comps and figure out how you're playing because we got seven more minutes of this. Ready? Three, okay. two, one, go. What time is it? I even I actually don't know. Twelve twenty-four. At least okay, EST. Yep. Mm, EST as So now the pressure is a lot different, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot different. Yeah, because of scope, but you should always, because you notice how whenever I was using a 1X, and this is not me trying to flex. It's just, just this is just me no. saying in terms of like positioning and a, like I know how to find an angle. I, I, I was doing damage and dealing damage. So there are, I have to ask you the question. Are you trying to hit me or are you trying to hit where I am at? You? Okay. So let me, let me explain further. If I Y swing this angle, are you trying to shoot me or are you trying to shoot the angle? Mm, pressure off the angle. Like if Fuck I keep off. Y swinging here and I disappear, where, where do you where what are you going to be shooting? The angle. Perfect. Nice. There you go. That's the key. You're not going to be able to shoot me per se because your your H cog is going to cover up my body at that distance, right? The goal yeah. is that you want to shoot the angle to where I'm going to peek. So, like, if I'm peeking here and I wide peek here, if you keep shooting the same spot and don't move your crosshair, you're going to think of it like Valorant, right? It's a, literally yeah. the same thing like Valorant when you're it's when you're peeking at it. Just crosshair placement. Everybody's watching. Crosshair placement. It's not about this. Is where where people get tripped up when it comes to aiming and improving their aim. 
when you get to a certain level, it's just crosshair placement, guys. It's just crosshair placement. It's not like you're trying to like, ooh, I'm gonna land that small shot. No, if my crosshair is already set on where I believe Anita's head is gonna be located, well, that's where you're gonna land your shots, right? That's that's the key. Okay, so we go again, and we'll see as you continue to lay more damage and find angles. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Getting shot at. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that... <laughs> you be just unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> you got me on the cross. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Better, better, better. Now, let's do you from the low ground here, okay? And then sure. we're going to go in game up and see how your comms are. Alright. Time to get flamed. You said you're better at, you know, shooting from the low ground, so we'll see how you do in terms of claiming space. Granted, you're in a 1x, so we'll see yeah. how you do. Alright, ready? Three, sure. two, one, go. Firing. Okay, you're blending then. Fog. Nice little tap strafe. Saw that. <laughs> no, what the fuck? It's gonna be much harder. So remember. My eyes! <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I can't see you. Just straight up, you're blending in. <laughs> I know, and that's the, that's the problem. That's the problem it's there, wild. right? So if you if I did the same thing at a, at a distance, let's go to flip flop. Yeah. I'm gonna put this at irons. Flip flop, just so everyone sees. So going to go up there. Sure. And we'll do the same thing here. Remember, remember, it, it's because it, I'm using the irons right now. What it feels like to be able to shoot at that that distance. So going to go three, two, one, go. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Notice how I'm putting pressure to force you to take an alternate angle rather than me. I would just land my shot, but yeah. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Oh. <sighs> if I didn't suck. Oh, wow. You saw me at that angle. I didn't even see you. Nice. There right, we go again. <laughs> yeah, I saw the very tip of your hip. <laughs> so the biggest thing, like, I where I'm shooting is I'm not actually trying to hit your body. I'm hitting where I believe that you're going to be at. Yeah. And that's oh, just... I shot over there. Yeah, exactly. I thought you were over there, but you didn't. It's weird. But this, why, this why is what happens weird? in rank when everyone <laughs> holds an angle, an ALGS, and they're shooting. And it's yeah. like, it's just one person with like an iron and they're just trying to create like an opportunity. Your goal is just to create an opportunity. If you're able to yeah. even dish out damage like that, anybody in chat, you're going to be much better in... In Apex, especially at high tier lobbies and ranked. If you can shoot at that distance, if you wanted to make it even more dramatic, you take this building right here. I'm gonna take this tower over here. Um, and we're going to do the same thing, but take pop shots at it, like at a distance. This is this is very likely of what happens in ranked, which is why I'm creating these scenarios. You know, we're putting each other at, at disadvantages, advantages, and sometimes you can clutch it out, sometimes you can't. My eyes. Look, so they're like literally looking at pixels, right? So ready. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. What the fuck? <laughs> Language. <laughs> I'm like kissing my monitor and I can still, still can't see you. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. There you go. See, and that's what you got to work on. 
if we're technically around equal footing and you know you're taking shots, we can swap this to the wingman. It won't make much too too much of a difference in terms of the shots that you're landing. You know. Yeah. You just gotta make sure to to hit specs and how you're doing it. As you shoot and you know they're gonna peak at an angle, you ho you hold the crosshair at the angle you believe they're gonna the peak at. Yeah. And even chat is like, dude, I can't see. That's <laughs> you're not gonna be able to see. That's what happens in ranked, ladies and gentlemen. That's and you have to be able to land those shots. Yeah. You gotta you gotta be able to land it because like your loadout is most likely. Like, let's grab a wingman so you feel a little more uh, comfortable. Yes, please. And then we'll do the same exercise again. That's a Spitfire, I'm crying. <laughs> poor, poor soul. And we'll do the same thing at these distances. Sure. But chat, these are the, the circumstances you might be in. You might land, you might get a 30-30, and you gotta be able to do opening damage. And if you can't, you have to, because yeah. there's other people that can. Let me go over to my tower. Yeah. And then we'll hop in game for, for a few rounds and I'll see how your comms are. Sounds good. And that's why people, you know, spam wingman, yeah, at the at the at the angles and stuff like that. Just because at some point they're gonna peek into it, and it's just it's literally kind of RNG, right? So ready, three, yeah. two, one, go. So the same thing like with a 30-30, even though we're using a wingman, that damage, so the damage done so far, if we pause for a second, I landed two shots. If this was ranked, you would be forced to use a bat. So if your inventory, you had two batteries, eight cells, I forced you to use a bat, you're now a bat down. So let's go ahead and like reset and heal up. That's the problem. So if I do this again, and I land two more shots, or even if you land shots on me, three, two, one, go. There you go, I'm forcing you to pop either a cell or something if you if you take it slow. Firing. Now you're forced to pop another bat. You're now I still have four I still have two batteries, eight cells, and you now only have eight cells. This is what's happening in, in, in competitive Anita, and this is what's happening in master lobbies. Yeah. Is it's the peak and landing those shots at a distance. So the only way you can solve this, I think of a test range reset. Yeah. what you practice on because we're going to go and uh, go in game the only thing you can do to solve this is quite literally using a aim lab to hit really small micro shots like ultra ultra small right um it, whether it's kovacs aim lab doesn't matter you ultra yeah. s like six shot ultimate really 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 beyond small smaller than belief to where you hover your crosshair over the target you can't see it okay yeah i don't want you to make your crosshair smaller so you can see the target you have to not be able to see it yeah. And then, peaking the angle, and then taking the shot and taking the shot and taking the leap of faith. I know that the thirty thirty and the wingman have very low velocity, but at one point you peaked Let's and I hit that. you before you even peak the angle, right? That's because yeah. I'm guessing based on your strafe going left and right, left and right. When are you going to land the shot? So that's essentially all I got to do: find a rhythm, see what the opponent's rhythm is, and then take a shot. Because you start to play, you're pretty much at that level playing an absolute mind game. You're playing mind games yeah. at that point, right? All right, let's go in game. Let's see how your comms are, how you play. Sure. That's my biggest advice. Peaking angles, taking that time. Uh, you and Sarah have the same thing actually to work on. You're like, you're, you're at a 1% level, maybe 0 0.07, maybe 0 0.05. What is your current rank in, in ranked right now? Uh, plus four, haven't plus played four. much. No worries. I'm, I'm diamond for it. I haven't played as much either. I've been, tr excuse me, trying, but it's only like maybe like an hour or two a night. Maybe. Yeah. Some nights I just can't find like resistance stack, so it's rough. Yeah. But you have it. And I think where you're really going to learn it, especially at like diamond lobbies where people are peaking at a long range mm. and getting that damage in. Because keep in mind, literally, you got you to gotta think like that. Think like that going forward. If you land two yeah. wingman shots, you're forcing a battery. Yeah. 
And if you did it two times in a row and you think that we're towards the end zone, unless they have eight batteries in their inventory, which most likely they don't, unless they yeah, are the champion squad. <laughs> if, if you see somebody camping in a building, I guarantee you they're the team that don't have the all the resources. If they're running Watson, they're running Watson to mitigate as much yeah, as possible, oh right? Uh, yeah. But ideally what you're going to have is like a long bow, somebody said a charge rifle, something for poke damage so you can make a play, right? That's your goal. I'm doing well, Ronald. It's great to have you here. We're doing free coaching. Uh, we had Karja, who is a console player. We have Anita, who's a master's level player. Um, she's learning a lot. She's doing great. Quick study. Everyone who seems to be watching the streams is apparently a boss. I don't, this is why I like doing these <laughs> coaching sessions. I don't have to do very much. I just, I had to, just, the whole point of coaching is to guide you. And you step away yeah. and you feel like you improved. If you, if I, if, if you, if I, if you step away and you're like, hey, I learned something, then the coaching session was effective. That's that's my goal. Yeah, I'm trying to get into mentoring myself. <clears throat> it's hard. Um, I know yeah. Crony. He's obviously done a great job. You win your ones. Now we got to focus on your long range engagements. Yeah. Because just like Crony. The same thing. He's gonna have the same problem. He's on. He's on controller. And then yeah, he's on roller. <laughs> so he's gonna have an even harder I, time trying to make a play. You know. Yeah, I piece the shit out of him all the time. Roller movement. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna move in. Ashley. Remember language. Yeah. It's okay. I'm not stressing too much. I'm just reminding. Holding. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, I'm away. Here's somebody in the center. Yeah. I'm gonna white swing him. Yeah, I'm moving lefty, kid. Okay. Just it. Flash one. Nice. nice. She didn't have much. Feels bad. Oh. Good kill. Do you aim train at all, Anita? Um, I. Off and on, um, I don't really like have money for Kovacs. <laughs> as Do aim as lab. I'll, I'll give you a, a few scenarios to work on for hitting really small targets. Okay. It's, yeah. It, I think like it's I've it's really it, done like IW4TS. I would I would even say spend maybe like two or three minutes, not nothing longer than that. Yeah. You don't you don't necessarily need a crazy amount of aim training. I just I want you to get used to hitting really small targets. Yeah. I'll I give I'll give you a few. Kind of a mitt and. Uh, can't focus on it for too long. Yeah, yeah. Two or three minutes. You play a song, play your favorite song in the aim train, and that's it. That's all you do for like, do it for like two weeks as you're trying to yeah. focus and improve on your on your micro shots. Right I'm away. Nading up top. Green left, I think. One right. Yep. 30 blue. Crack One 20 flash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you. She Should tapped me with earlier? the wingman. She hit me with, with every single shot. That's unfortunate. Damn. That sucks. I got her to one HP. Cost yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah. Just got thirded. Unfortunate. Zig, what's going on, man? It's good to see you. Your comms are good. I don't. We'll we'll go again, but I don't really have an issue with your comms. I mean, we're playing pubs and we're picking pushes. Yeah. I usually just brain off. Don't come at all. <laughs> <laughs> my my thing is practice how how you um how you would play. Yeah, I still make yeah, a lot of mistakes uh, and like maybe I shouldn't have wide swung as hard, but realistically she just landed her shots and ended up in a one v one, so it's unfortunate. Yeah. She was cracked. She just she landed every wingman shot, all four. Damn. Good for her. <laughs> yeah, no, and things like this, things like rank. Yeah. Especially comp, like definitely hard comming. <laughs> yeah, almost taking it, taking it slow. Yeah. I've been really bad at popcorn training sim. Any advice? Just do regular tracking and then work your way to popcorn. You playing with viewers? We are doing coaching, coaching, coaching. Maximum. I have a wife, dude. I don't, know, I don't know what to tell you. That's that's a weird question. I mean, every everybody's entitled to whatever they think or whatever they want to do. There's no judgment here. What was your mistake in a place that you got eliminated? I should've just taken it slower. I took the nade up top. I should've just taken the fight slower, that's it. If my, I, I had no information on the opponent, I didn't get a crack. 
But if you're doing pubs, sometimes you just want to just go in and full on ego and just make a play, and it works. Yeah. But if fight everything. Yeah, just fight everything because that's the whole <laughs> point of pubs. But if we're playing ranked and I got no intel, I don't know what their armor situation was. I wait and take an off angle until we got armor. It's like, oh, they got whites. Oh, let's push it. You know, let's uh, let's make a play. Yeah. But if it's pubs, it's pubs, you know. But the 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 key is always having information. I have flatty wingman. I'm good to go. Yeah, I'm ready. I got alternator. Solid. One I'm four, waiting to main vantage in season 14. I do it or main someone now. I would just play whoever, man. Don't focus too much on the legend. Focus on your on your overall gameplay. You master positioning and cover usage. You can play any legend. Yep. In the building. On the thing. Yeah. I don't see. 40 in. Yeah, I don't see that window. It's a wraith in there. She's white, so I'm gonna push up. Yeah. I'm moving left. I think she left. I think she's gone. Yeah, in here. I hear. Okay. Second, I think. Okay. Yeah, definitely second. Drop. You were outside. Yeah, I'm with you, I'm with you. Okay. In front of me. Sliding in. Got her. Nice. Numpties are down for the count. Nice choice. Alright, I'm good to go. Yep, sorry. Dropping a med. Thank Reloading. you. In front of me, I think. Yep, queuing oh, up. Sorry. I'm queuing. I'm going right here. Yeah, I'm coming back as well. Is this in? No, it's not in. Alright, I'm gonna reposition. Yeah, okay, I'm going top one. I'll stick bottom here for a second. I'm gonna wait for Q, I'm gonna go back oh, up again. Oh, okay. Good need Grenades. on your part. Yep, yep. Nothing on right. Is it only C? Uh, I hit one flush over here. It's, it's a Bloodhound. I'm gonna Q up. 40 on acting, flush. Yep, pushing. Hit him for 50, he's like 40 HP remaining. I can't come with you. So it's fine, it's My fine. Q's. Is he low? Yeah, yeah, serious. I'm going around the other way. That's an octane crap. I'm dead. The octane's flush. Coming up to you right now. Nice, good stuff, good stuff. Let's go. This won't hurt. Hold on. Champions out. Hey, your comms are good. You obviously play I mean you, if you play master lobbies and you gotta have good comms, so I figured yeah. your comms would be master fine. <laughs> yeah. And I mean if Crony is playing a lot of competitive, so then it makes sense that you also would know what you're doing. Yeah. I need to heal up as I move in coming though. Yeah, no worries. 50 perp with a bow. Path, I think. Okay. He's double sniping? That's cringe. Go over here. I had a Pathfinder for flush over here, but I don't know where he's at. Okay. I'm on the tracks right now. Yeah, I'm on my way. Yeah. Beacon building looks fine. One's still on top of streamer. Okay, I'm going inside the building, oh, taking the floor. Right. Yeah, they're up there. They're up top. Okay. Let's see if I can get a little damage in so I can see what armors I got. Yeah. One is perp. Okay. Path. Ash is on the right. Yeah, probably by train. Yeah, one's got perp. 40 on one. They're looking at me. I'm gonna chill as well. They got snipers. Can't peek that. Yeah, fuck this. I barely have any heavy. Do you have heavy? Oh, you're running uh, heavy guns. Let's just, yeah. <laughs> Let's just reposition that. Can you coach me 1v1? I'll donate. Coaching is free, bro. I'm just doing it for free, man. Yeah, I'm down to push this over here. Yep. We just finished uh, 30 minutes in the test range and we're just kind of assessing Anita's comms. Really good. <laughs> really, really solid. I, I got I got nothing much else to add besides her poke damage and making a play. But otherwise, I mean, yeah. comms, are, comms are good. I'll I give her fine. some aim training stuff with aim lab and I think she should be good to go. Like three minutes a day. Play your favorite song. 
One down. Yeah, knocked him. Pushing in. Nice. In the open. Okay. Ulting. Has red. Keyed oh, back. She, yeah, she keyed back. Leading right. One stood, should still be there. No, they're both not. Oh, they're on the stairs, climbing up. Uh, oh, they're above me. Third. Going aside. I'm gonna knock this and uh, go for the armor swap. Crap. Crap. I screwed up. I missed. You got that. He's one. I'm gonna block the door. I'm gonna climb, climb behind him. Hi, buddy. I can't get up. There's a door thing in the way. She's stuck. Oh, she's not stuck anymore. I'm just running on her. She's taking port. Your baby will go to res. Yeah. Hmm. Hold on. Monk us. Is there a swap in there? Uh, I swapped it already. Okay, I'll grab it anyways. Okay. Recharging my shield. It's topping off. Okay. Opening fire. 24. Moving left. Fine on her left for now. Yeah, yep. Yeah. He's still in here, I'm not sure. Come on first. I'm He's on. either ratting or running. Second good. Resin. All right, look at the time. We're doing good on time. We're gonna find the Discord server. Explanation point Discord. Oh, she res. I'm away. Yeah. Wild. He's right there. Never saw that man. Queuing and battering. You're good. I'm gonna take an angle up top. They might get an angle on me. I'm trying to look. Queuing up now. I don't see. Oh man, that might get me here. Yeah. yeah. I think you just need to wait on me there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was on the low ground. I should have been over on you yeah. anyways. How does that hit me? They got their stuff back pretty quick over here too. You didn't want to grab the red shield. I didn't want to waste time to heal it up. I was just being lazy. If you had five hours to play the game, how much would you just dedicate to aim and training? Aim and training, probably like 15 minutes, maybe 30, and then play the remainder amount of time. We got a sweaty squad there. Look at that. That Wraith had 12,000 kills. Let's go. There we go again. One more. And we'll get the dub here. I believe. They're very sweaty. I'd prefer that over bot lobbies. True, true. A lot more to learn from pushes and everything. Yeah, exactly. I should have went over right with you. I held the low ground there uh, just to kind of hold out for you. The Wraith just kind of pushed up. Mm -hmm. She probably just mirror me there. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Yeah. See, now she's giving me coaching. It works out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. no. I mean, listen. That's 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 what it's what it's all about. Playing, good, having good team play, finding the Fair. chemistry and everything. You know. Yeah. How much do you charge for coaching session? I don't charge. It's free. See so me had a battery? No, I didn't have a battery. The biggest tip I can provide to people is to go for a play and try to make a play. Don't, exactly. if you make a mistake, it's fine. At least you'll know for next time whether the play works or not. Because there could have been a few things that happened. The Wraith could have wide swung out a little harder and I could have just absolutely fried her. But then she waited very patiently up on height. And of course my only mm -hmm. option at that point was to queue up because then she was looking at me. Yeah. Did you have ult up there then or was it still on cooldown? I don't recall. I need to, I probably need to double check it. I'll go back to the VOD and check if I had it or not. Are Sir Player polite like you? I mean, yeah, I assume so. 
I manage the team, so I hope they are. <laughs> you coach new players too, yeah. Drum bum grief me like three times in the past week. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> I'm gonna land on the building right here. Alright. One under me. Okay. Running over to you. I'm queuing out. It's fine. I only got a Zari 45. Cracked him. One on them. On me. Yep. One shot. What? No audio. Holding knock. Out of light. Beat his ass. Oh, he's getting beaten. All right. I'm gonna come Take back. Yeah, no. Oh shoot! Hello. Doc Grammy. Oh, lovely. Ah, oh, I thought I might be. He's running away. That's why I'm rising. Yeah. He can see you from tags. Oh, it's just a wee scratch, dear. Monka. This is such a. Um, they're above. Yeah. I'm just insecure. Yeah. Going to a train. Okay. Yeah, of course, man. No worries. Oh, shoot. Hello. Are you on me? Yep. Why are you chasing me? You're weird. I'm right here. Thirsting. Yeah, I'm gonna come around in a second and see if I get lucky with a gun up here. Oh, Struggling. Oh, there's only 15 light. Struggling really hard. Play right there. Okay, I got a little bit of light. So the hound is bad. Oh, that's a different team. Amazing. Yep. Thinking maybe I go for this, maybe? Do a little griefing. Look at that little spitty abuser. Alright, I'm just gonna go for a res. Yeah. <laughs> I got two clips. <laughs> Half the squad still up in oh, I just oh, shit. Audio going hard. There might be a swap in there. I actually don't know. Why are you chasing so hard? <laughs> he wants you. Oh my god! You really want this. <laughs> That's so strange. Stream sniping? Question mark? Oh damn. Ah! I don't like. Honestly. Good try. <laughs> <laughs> one more, one more! Oh god, this game's right, always right. so addicting. Spore, I appreciate <laughs> you, buddy. And then we're gonna get in the last person we're gonna coach. We've been really unlucky with some of the loot. The only thing I could yeah. have done is just hard left, and then that person was just hard chasing. They had an EVA, and they closed the gap. Yeah. I don't understand why you uh, have those changes in your playlists or pl play styles. Maybe play more horizontal or on Valorant than Apex, so you feel your hands. Wait, some who was saying that? Let's see here. I gotta go back up and chat and look. Yeah, coaching would work anywhere. You have a preference between Kovac or Aim Lab? Aim Lab, it's also free. Are you sweating? Not yet, even though the lobbies are sweating. I mean, you'll know when you're sweating, right? Are all the coaching done live? Yeah, I do all the coaching live. I don't really have all the luxury of time in the world, unfortunately. Can I join Soar? Uh, it's not really how it works, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I to join a session, you can sign up in Discord. Man, I wish it was that easy. I would love to get coached by to play PS4. Karja was on PS4. Alright, we caught up. I despise the RE45. That's my worst gun. I need to spend more time in the test range with it. Literally, I just cannot stand the gun at all. Is movement more important than aim? I'd say aim is more important. Positioning, aim, then movement. If you have good aim, you most likely are going to have good, good uh, movement. And if you have good positioning, well, you're most likely going to have good aim because you're going to get the uh, the shots off. Yeah, one team. Okay. 
Oh, the course the first gun I get is an RE45, I'm crying. <laughs> this is your practice. I know, right? Why am I lagging? Ooh. I'd rather run a Mozam. Alternator Eva. Can fight. Yeah, same. Checking these pills and then I'll come. Where are they? Are they in the middle? I think so, yeah. Okay. Far right. Okay. Moving up. I'm walking up mid. Same. Crafting. We're shooting. 20 perp on one. Yeah. Perp is on the crafter. Need to recharge my shield. Some sell up. I arced him, no damage. Mm, Therming left. 87. Alright, I'm pushing up then. Yeah. Backing up. Strafe like a huge oh. What is that path strafe? Finishing. <laughs> Any particular drills in aim lab that you recommend? Um It depends. We're running into really good players today. Holy. 511,000 yeah. kills. Oh, that's hollow. Man, what the? <laughs> no, that's not actually hollow. There's no way. He's got a diamond badge on. That's not actually hollow. That's what I say. If that was actually hollow, I was about to like, come on, dude. Sore hollow. But that's not him. Let me go. Let me go look at the. He's not online right now. No, he's running sore hollow. But he named himself hollow. That's quite the flex. All right, one more. <laughs> okay. And then we'll um Brian is our our third third person. So Brian, oh. if you're here, we'll get you in Brian. Yeah, Brian's in OVC right now. He's in what? Oh he's in Wish Okay. Nice. Cheese. Hey, they're all playing really smart. I I dig it. Doing pretty good, That's Jacob. Happening. It's completely messed up my aim. What, because of his he movement? Mat. He just kept going toward the mats. He just went in one direction. Yeah. Like, I typically just auto adjust for strafes because, you know, people strafe like humans. Our MMR is probably so me. high because we're both master and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like, we're just going to run into nothing but sweats. Yeah, literally. But, you know, I dig it. I mean, this is the reality of what happens sometimes. Sometimes you just don't win every game, you know? Yeah. Like, if we were to assess there, you know, like... I, I win more in rank than pubs. Yeah, honestly, same. Like, I'd say 60 or 70 of my wins are from ranked. Best way to win pubs is if you, uh... I think you killed Fade in your last video. The player was, I picked my scabs. Was it? What was my last video? Which last video you're referencing? I got a spitty, I'm gonna cringe. Are they inside yet? Yeah, on me. I have double spitty, I'm extra cringe. Crack. Yep. One more. Yeah. She's on the second floor, I'm gonna cut her off. That's a cracked armor. I got seven bullets, I'm gonna push her. Roof, roof, roof. Got her. GG's. Was that not kid on roof? She was everywhere, oh. man. <laughs> I'm unaware. Can I accept that? But just because if I did kill Fade, which I probably highly, I don't know, who knows? I I saw push your mode on. You never know who you eliminate in these lobbies, anyways. Is don't worry who you eliminate, who you kill. Sometimes you might have caught him out of position. Sometimes a person may have a good day, but sometimes they may have a bad day. Also, whenever it's pubs, people will definitely play a little bit more differently than when they were playing like ranked or something, you know? Yep. Everybody just want to kill farm. Pretty much, you know? If I make a guide and, you know, let's say, you know, 10,000 people watch it, that's 10,000 people who are going to try to sweat and try to improve their game, you know? Attention. Tips on how to get into the habit of hit firing more often. You don't necessarily have to hit fire. I mean, if you can ADS and land mostly headshots and ADS, you know? 
hip fire really whenever you're like right on top of their face and you know that the shots are going to land. Queuing up, looking. I. Any damage? I had 60 on him. Blue. Going left. Climb. Stop. Shoot, I'm gonna die. I put Pegasus so hard, that was so bad of me. Yeah, it was embarrassing. Honestly, same. Nice wall bouncing, Damn, I guess, part. with the sh move, man. Right? Still fried him yeah. as he was wall bouncing, but still. I honestly, when I dropped, I already knew I lost. I screwed up. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I was just like, uh, I'm already dead, so I'll just PK him in the face. <laughs> nice. <laughs> What's your thinking process when you push an enemy that's in the house? Did I get damaged initially? All right, Anita, honestly, I'll send you a playlist on AimLab to focus on your poke damage. I wouldn't really worry about your 1v1s. There's Your comms are good. Um, I, I don't really have much. It's because, like, pubs-wise, there's not much to really focus on. I would really focus on, like, the highest yeah. end level for you. I mean, yeah. it, realistically, only in pubs is if we just slowed down our game and really slowed down to win. But I wasn't really, like, yeah. slowing down to win. I was just pretty much playing just to play, you know? Yeah, like at some point if you do another one of these, or if you don't just have a little spare time, like I'd be totally down to like do a rank game. Like yeah. you know, just do a rank game and I'm down. try to improve. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cause that's and where... I also have a couple of VODs I had from the other day. Like, yeah, send them over to me. Two end games. Yeah, that I really want you to review. Cause I don't know what I could have done better. Yeah, uh, send, send me the VODs, I'll look over them. Um, yeah. And see like what options that, that could have been done there. And just FYI, like everyone with pubs is that it's just, you're pretty much grasping at straws and what could happen in a fight and what could not. So it's just, yeah. like when if people get stressed about dropping hot and losing, go watch one of your favorite streamers. They'll get amazing games. They'll get like a 10, 20 kill game. And then they'll die four times in a row. And whenever you're hot, you're hot, you know? Like I like uh, last stream at one point I died off rip probably like three or four times. Then I won four games back to back or three games. I can't remember. But I remember one was 10 kill, one was like seven and one was like three or something like that. So it was just oh like, you just never know. When you're hot, you're hot. When you're not, it's just like, it is what it is. And don't get mad about it. Don't get ragey, don't get upset. Just get back in the game and then continue playing. Like I find it addicting. I'm like, oh man, like that was so close. Or if I didn't screw up at that one spot. Like when I, I like, Completely bought it. I was on his head. I was literally on the Bloodhound's head, like spinning. I was like, God, this is horrible. Like, this is embarrassing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anita, great work. I'll send you some stuff over. Thank you for uh, the time. And hopefully there was stuff that you were able to learn, especially in the first half an hour. Yeah, thank you. All right. We'll speak soon. All right. Have a good one. All right. Bye. All right. I'm going to call Brian and we're going to bring Brian in here next. All right. Do this. Hello, Brian. What's going on, man? Hey, what's good? All right. Um, I don't think I've gotten a chance to do a coaching session with you before, have I? I mean, we've uh, done stuff in the Discord, but nothing. Yeah. Like... Not like an official coaching, but you definitely did like one v ones before. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do one v ones. I know a little bit, but let's see how you've improved over time. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I've been experimenting with settings. And You're good. They never dies. Hot drop, dude. Smart. He does play very smart. He does reposition really, really well. I'm literally getting nothing from stream right now because I don't even have the basics. At the start of the stream, we we're talking a lot of basics, and don't worry. Well, earlier was a lot more advanced. Um, when we do one v ones, we kind of go back down to basics again. Always, you know the rule: wingman, R three, R R ninety nine. You know the the usual loadout. But need a great work, by the way. Seriously, I I can tell you put a lot of time into the game, a lot of passion. Uh, I know Crony said he's definitely giving you coaching and stuff, so he came with a really strong base. Can we get Gibby? I don't. I play. I haven't played Gibby in a hot minute. All right, put your favorite site, all that fun stuff. Yep. And then we're gonna one v one. All right, all right. Would you be able? to... I'm always willing to coach. The only, the only thing it doesn't matter if somebody's new at the game, somebody's seasoned. Everybody can always benefit from coaching. Because, I mean, even pro players, they uh, they get coaching. That's the whole point. Outside perspective. Doesn't matter if they're the best player or the worst player. Coaching always helps. It, co it helps me. That's why I do coaching. I do this stuff for fun, but it helps me also identify my strengths and weaknesses too. You know? That's why I don't charge for it. I just, I just do it because it's fun. 
All right, ready? All Five right. 1v1s so I can assess where you're at at the moment. We'll kind of go from there. Ready? Three, yep. two, one, go. Four more. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Oh no, I had to pull it out. Oh, that's all good, it's all good. Three more. Make sure I pulled out my weapons, okay. You're good, you're good. After we coach Brian, we're going to be doing community games. So I'll invite random peeps from uh, from chat. Ready? One, two, or three, two, one, go. Nice. Good stuff. Two more. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. My part. <laughs> Alright, ready? Split in the little. <laughs> one more. Alright. Three, two, one, go. Very nice, dude. You made a lot of progress since we've uh we've lost one v one. It's been a while, it's been a while. The biggest thing I would say, um don't be afraid to kind of claim space whenever you have it sometimes i feel like you give me a little yeah. bit too much room to run around so we'll go again hold right. hold your space a lot more that's that's the biggest tip i would provide like so what do i mean by that in terms of basics if you guys are watching what he's doing really well is holding angles and waiting he's waiting just as, as if anita would which is like the goal as, as people start to improve you'll notice that you'll actually go with more patience is key and brian did you hit masters or did you uh, uh nope <laughs> sadly not well where were you at diamond two or diamond one it's like diamond two diamond two okay ran out of time i got gotcha. you a lot of school stuff if, if you're hitting diamond two you pretty much are on you're on your way to hit masters so you're pretty much at a master level so we got some peeps in here who are, who are who've put in the time and put in the work how many hours would you say you got in apex brian i think like 600 actually no 500 sorry 500 okay it's yeah. not bad very nice a lot, a lot of solid work for, for only 500 hours. And so the biggest tip I can provide to people as well, uh, for all those watching, is that it doesn't matter the amount of time. It matters how diligent you are with your practice. So Brian doesn't always have the most amount of time to play, um, but I have a considerable n larger number of hours played versus Brian, and Brian is still able to, to hold his own. And he's learned a lot. Like, I remember when I first 1v1 Brian, I mean, my gosh, like, you, you've come so far. <laughs> I, I yeah, was, that was getting rolled. <laughs> yeah, he was losing almost every single fight, but now he's winning his 1v1s. Um, there's still some stuff to kind of clean up. I'm definitely wide swinging a lot harder. So let's go again. Let's 1v1 again, and we'll kind of work on this. Yep. Ziggo, right. everyone's always able to be coached. It doesn't matter your level. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, nice shots. Okay, I want you to be the aggressor. I want to see how you do whenever you aggress. I want to see if you make the smart decision when aggressing versus not. Three, two, one, go. And there it is. Okay. So whenever you aggress, this is going to be your biggest weakness. You know how to hold. You know how to anchor. Okay. So when I say anchoring, by the way, chat, it's uh, it's peeking and waiting for the opponent to make the mistake. Brian's really good at it. So if we do it again, three, two, one, without you pushing, just kind of play your normal play style. Brian is using angles. Like he's holding, he's aggressing whenever he needs to, right? But the thing is that with Apex, you need to also be able to aggress and, and counter pressure. So the, the thing that Brian did whenever he counter pressured, and I do this a lot, you do this a lot in pubs, is... 
you wide swung too hard to the point whenever you ran across that's where i got my beam off dude unknown thank you so much for the 20 man i appreciate you man thank you so much dude is whenever you move in at this angle that's when you're running at a straight line whenever you aggress you are either aggressing because you know you can win the fight and you 100 percent go all in on it or you wait for a better opportunity okay yep um and those bad habits can be made from doing a lot of pubs which is pretty much what you saw as well ready three two okay. one you you make the aggressive push okay three right. two one go i'm taking shots Yeah, I would have caught you out there. So I'm not shooting at you, but I would have caught you out several times. Yeah. So whenever you shoot, you reloaded whenever you were going into an engagement. Make sure that you're always reloaded as you go in. I, I feel like the biggest thing for, for you, Brian, is that you know how to anchor, you know how to hold. It's, it's, just, it's really strictly how to make a push and make an angle. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to highlight how, how, how you do it, okay? And then all, right. all of a sudden, you're literally going to go from like being a diamond player to just instantly almost like a master's player with the same mentality, okay? Ready? Right. Three, two, one, go. Okay, I did quite a bit of damage. But you also did a little bit more to me. There you go. Very nice. You're already doing it. There you go. Like, I, I, all I had to do was just kind of point you in the, uh, in the right direction. I should have super glided on Daz at least once. It, it, super gliding doesn't work on me, unfortunately. For Like, Hollow does it, and he stopped doing it because then I just shred him while he's just super gliding. But if you if you're welcome, but we can one v one more, Anita. But trust me, I you know movement doesn't work once you get to a higher higher level. All right, ready, Brian? Yep, yep. Three, two, one, go. Keep doing what you're doing. Whatever you did that last round, that was that was literally perfect. That was it. Okay, that was definitely a hard ego, but it worked for you. <laughs> you didn't get any damage. Uh, I guess you did a little damage at the start. Go again. Better, much better, dude. Three, two, one, go. Very nice, oh, that was dude. lucky. <gasps> Not luck, consistency. You're doing a lot better. Then we're gonna put you at range and see how you do. All right. Three, two, one, go. You've been practicing a lot of one v ones, huh? Uh, just practice in general. Ah, uh, you caught me on the switch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All you gotta do is just clean up your pushes, but you like the minute you start. Thinking about it, try to try to like what's the word I'm looking for whenever you do it, whenever you push in. Hold and know whenever you're close to a box and to hold geometry. I know I've said that to you before, but really just continue to take it at heart. Don't overthink it though. Yep. Try not to overthink it. Go again. Three, two, right. one, go. Alright, good white swing. Those are the wide swings you got to be careful about if you whiff your shots, though, okay? Yeah. That's the only thing. That was just aim. <laughs> yep. Go again. Three, two, one, go. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Oh. So when I push, I always try to make sure the push is whenever I do damage. Unless I'm doing pubs and just being a big dummy. So the biggest thing... If you do damage, try not to rely solely on your aim, because if you happen to whiff or something happens, you want always the odds to be in your favor. So go again. Three, two, right. one, go. Good work, man. Good work. Two more, and then we'll do some mid-range. Three, two, one, go. Very nice, man. Two more. You've come so far, dude. You've come so far. I'm glad. Uh, it looks like the Discord stuff is working. It was just crazy. I've, I've been seeing so many of you guys really improve. Just over the span of like, I mean, it's been like, what, two seasons? But you've come so far. It's crazy. 
Three, two, one. I'm so one. glad I stumbled across your <laughs> Discord. That thing helped a lot. Three, All two, right. one, go. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Caught you out there. Just gotta bait you pretty much. No, I should have oh. won that. GG's. All right, one more. And then we're going to do mid-range. Yep. Your close range and 1v1s is really, really solid. Three, two, one, go. Try not to crack under pressure of being patient, okay? Nice. I should be oh. winning these, but I'm missing. I turned my back on you just as I was walking back. All right, let's do some mid-range. See how you do mid-range. All right. So same idea. Except yep, with yep. Bigger same round. thing. All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh my god, I'm moving so hard today. This time I'm down. How is he improving so quick? He's put a lot of time in. All right, let's go again. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, nice. He's he's just put in a lot of time into one v ones and stuff, which is really uh, I like I, it didn't, this didn't happen overnight for for Brian, but he's improved so much. And it, when we draw for for random coaching, we've been doing it in the Discord. Um, I've done one v ones and I've given him tips and advice, but seeing him from when was the, when we when was the last time we did one v ones? Maybe like a couple of months ago. You've come a long way for a couple of months. I'm not gonna lie. Are you are you what 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 are you doing specifically that's that's helped you out the most? I I, I can't remember all the things that I say. You did recommend you did recommend some like aim lab scenarios, but I haven't really been doing that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, I've so been mostly. Mostly just grinding out ranked. Uh, yeah, that's the main thing, honestly. <laughs> and trying to work on, like, stuff outside of, like... I mean, I've had a lot of, like, 1v1 experience, but for me, it's more of, like, team playing comms right now. Gotcha, gotcha. Because your 1v1s have gotten way better since then. At least your yeah. confidence in terms of what you're doing has, uh, has made a big difference. Okay, ready? We'll go again. Three, yep. two, one, go. Good stuff, dude. Can you teach me on 1v1? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's what we do coaching, dude. Ready? Three, two, yep. one, go. Nice. Oh. Good stuff, man. That was a lucky edge shot. <laughs> Stop saying it's luck, dude. You've improved, man. I'm gonna have to reevaluate how I play. <laughs> but this is good. Keep going with it. I'm just gonna have you keep running with it because you're doing well. Yep. And we should just celebrate the fact that you're doing well. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Should be using the wingman there. It's all good. Keep going. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Getting shot at. Ooh, nice. There we go again. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Mm. Very nice. Oh, house one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three, two, one, go. I'm taking shots. Opening fire.
Ooh, nice. All right, you gotta hold that spot though. And then that's the biggest thing I'll tell you. If you're gonna, you're dropping off a lot to kind of buy yourself some time with it. Claim some yeah. spaces. You're up top. Cause that's why you're. That's True. why you're gonna start losing. This. This is where. This is where. I'll start to pull ahead of you. If you let me continue to claim space and claim dominance. So let's go back and do the 1v1 over here to build your confidence back up. And then go back and go over here. The thing is, that don't. it's a mental battle once you start getting at a certain a skill level and threshold. Don't let the mental battle beat you. Keep it calm, keep it consistent, keep doing what you're doing. Um, don't right. back down. Okay? Yep. If you have good positioning and you have a good angle, you don't back down. Okay? Three, right. two, one, go. There you go. See, so you don't back down. When you're starting mid-range and long-range, I get the feeling you back down a lot. Do the yeah. same thing that you do in these 1v1s, but take it at range. Ready? Three, two, okay. one, go. They spotted me. I'm taking shots. Oh. There we go again. And then we're going to go mid-range again, and I don't want you to back down. Right. Ready? Oh. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Oh no, I had to pull it out. It's okay. <laughs> Careful again whenever you wide swing too hard to where you have to run to the next spot, okay? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Nice. All right, let's go back to the other spot and you're gonna do the same thing, but hold hold your positioning. Hold hold whenever you have it. Don't keep, don't back down. Yep, all right. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, whoa, that was a good beam. <laughs> You held your spot, so I'm, I'm proud of you. you. At least you held the spot. Yep. Ready? Three, two, one, go. There we go again. I whiffed pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Slow down. You're doing fine. Now we're working on your consistency. Three, two, one, go. There you go. Very nice. So this is this is another tip. Remember how people say they have bad days, they have good days? You see how sometimes I'm missing shots and sometimes I win, sometimes I lose, sometimes I go into a pub and I make mistakes. You're always playing at a certain threshold and level, right? But remember, if you slow it down and chill, you'll be more consistent. What, what I'm focusing on right now for Brian is I want him to find his his consistency. That's the biggest thing. Whether it's a, and a, like I know his strafe is a, is is linear, but the the thing is that if, if he lands his shots, it's perfectly fine. I wouldn't change adding a, a crouch into it if it means that he's going to deal damage. I want him to consistently deal damage and kind of breathe through it to kind of find his like threshold that like, like he's always going to land the same amount of damage. All right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. There you go. Nice. Yeah, if you're gonna have a linear strafe, you gotta make sure this is why I'm building consistency with you. Yep. You gotta be able to land the shots, which is all, all because you have really good aim. You really do. And so we're just gonna keep pushing you on it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, I had to pull it out. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, shoot. Wasn't ready for you to climb back up. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it's all good. All right, ready? Pull out my weapons. That's, that's why I had you stop dropping down because I'm forcing you to either yeah. do something different with your movement or I'm forcing you to land more of your shots. Ready? Right. Uh -huh. Three, two, one, go. I'm taking shots. Ooh. Remember the uh, the Pathfinder ran into Anita, the one that was just like, the strafe was like very linear, just going one direction? 
that's what uh like it could throw you off because sometimes people don't necessarily just crouch like crazy or do crazy movement sometimes it's a movement that is simple that will throw you off so ready three two one go nice there you go all you gotta do is find that consistency brian as long as you're yep. consistent that way then you're good ready three yep. two one go There you go. Perfect. Keep that consistency, that same consistency that you're doing. Go again. Three, two, yep. one, go. Ooh. Good shots. Yeah, you'll have that pressure where it just like, I don't think yeah. you'll get any more pressure than what you're seeing from me from anyone else. So if you can handle that pressure, you're going to be just fine. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Think about how you're going to intro the start. And if I'm landing the same shots with the, with your pattern, how are you going to change it up? Ready? Three, right. two, one, go. Again, try not to drop down because that's how you change your pattern, oh, yeah. but don't drop down. Right. My bad. You're good. Ready? Three, two, one, go. There you go. Nice room. All right, let's go back and do the 1v1s over here. All right. I might need to grab more light ammo. <laughs> You're good. Go grab light. Go grab light. I had like 480 and somehow I used all of that. <laughs> so chat, any questions that you guys have from what you've seen? I know we've done a lot of coaching. We've been giving a lot of tips. I know that some of it's been a lot more advanced than beginner stuff in terms of coaching. But you know, you, you never know. Who, and I, I never know who we're always going to get. I just draw the names randomly. All right, we'll go do some 1v1s around the box again. Let's explore this way. Yep. And then I want to see how you do... Long we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll hop in game and we'll see how your damage looks. All right. All right, ready? I feel like I play so differently in firing range than in like the actual game. Where It's where you try to blend the two together, which is why I like to do 30 yeah. minutes in, in the actual game itself. True. Ready? All right. Three, two, one, go. No. Okay. So what's happening for me is I'm, I'm starting to read your movement a lot better, which is why I'm yep. starting to land more shots. So that this is where the counterplay comes in. The question is, what do you do when somebody starts to get a read on you? And where you have to start to switch it up. So this is a big tip for everybody in chat. This is where you can tell when a player is adaptable and flexible versus one that gets stuck. And this is probably where you're gonna get stuck most, Brian, and it's gonna help in the long run. So we go again. Right. If we keep 1v1ing for another hour and you don't switch it up, I will continue to start to beat you nine out of 10 times. Right. Because you're probably noticing I'm creeping up on you. All of a sudden it's like, why am I starting to win? Well, it's because I've, I've got a read on you. I know the type of player that you are now. In a battle royale, you're going to get them the jump and surprise because they don't know who they're going up against or the type of player. But you can assess it very quickly when you're facing um, when you're facing opponents and you can kind of tell their play style. Okay, so we go again. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. See? I know it's really strange, right? How do you go from winning every single 1v1 to all of a sudden starting to struggle? Let's go again. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Got that melee. So what's happening is I'm getting used to your movement, even if you wide swing me. Like, yep. even I'm learning. It's like, how do you become adaptable and how, Brian, are you going to counter it? What are you going to do differently? to counteract me. That's going to be the question. Try again with, with your normal movement and start to ask yourself, what can I do differently? Ready? Right. Three, two, one, go. I got to read on your strafe. You, you, you got to switch it up somehow. I have 100% a read on, 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 on your movement. So <laughs> <He's adapting. laughs> you, you have to change it up. 
the question is, are you going to strafe left? Are you going to strafe more? Are you going to do a, a longer uh, swing? You have the skill set, Brian. It is very strong. Your aim is really, really good. And everybody who's who's watching, uh, the, the in terms of tips and how you continue to push forward and improve, is your adaptability. You can lose against a certain player because it, it throws you off. But the question is, what do you do differently? Um, it's like, uh, I'm going to pretend like Daz is a lab rat. I am a lab rat. I get shocked is uh, every time I get zapped, I'm like, okay, that failed, that failed, that failed. What do you do differently to approach the situation, right? So the hard part about strafing, this is what normally happens when people strafe. Big tip here. Usually you go in a pattern left and right. Your brain always wants to do a left and right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right? Crude, he was destroying me earlier. He was destroying me. Anita also is beating me, beating me as well. Whenever you strafe, the brain always wants to go in a pattern, right? So the idea is to break the pattern because the other person's brain is also adapting saying, I see a pattern, right? Our brains naturally look for patterns. If I look at a wall over here, I see a pattern. I start to see, okay, the grates always go in a certain, a certain way. You start to see patterns on like the floor. We look at the pattern. This is a pattern of circles. The brain always associates with patterns and so know that if your opponent is catching on your pattern that you have to change your pattern up a little bit okay right so let's do that ready three two one go there you go better switching it up a little bit you weren't like bobbing and weaving the same the same way that you were before which is good it's the whole point ready Three, two, one, go. No! Okay, that time, I know you're, you're loading your gun, but you went into a predictable pattern at the start there. And then we're just relying on, like, who's going to beam better than the other person, right? Yeah. Okay, ready? Three, two, yep. one, go. Very nice. Better, better. So the slide that you did, you did a, a slide here, and then you went into a bit more predictable pattern, but the slide helped you get get into a different pattern to kind of throw things off. Right. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Try to do the movement more or less with jumping and more with sliding. Or right. making a longer strafe or a shorter strafe. Okay. Because okay? when you jump, that's whenever the, the pattern, remember how I talk about patterns? Whenever you jump, think of it like a aim lab or Kovacs or any scenario. When you jump, there's only one way you can go afterwards, right? And then it becomes like an easy target to hit. Yep. So always think in terms of sliding. If you're going to jump, it has to be a very sharp tap strafe if you're going to do that. So then you're, okay. you're moving in a certain direction. The, they, people are calling this the RAS tap strafe. So this is a tap strafe that he does. He goes up in the air like this. Here, look at me. He does the the, the RAS tap strafe. It's like a quick uh, tap strafe to the left and then back. Where he goes like in a weird arc pattern like this. It's like a... I'm not doing it as fluidly, but... And his the lower air flow makes it look, look, look a lot better. But essentially, you're just kind of like wrapping... And like that's that's a decent tap strafe to do. There you go. That you can do to kind of throw people off, so you're kind of in the air. But if you're gonna jump, you gotta tap strafe it. They call it the RAS tap strafe. They call it whatever you want to call it. it doesn't matter. You gotta add incorporate some movement into it if you're going to jump up in the air. Every time you jump up in the air, assume that you're gonna do some sort of tap strafe or movement to throw me off. Otherwise, the movement is gonna be just in a little arc and it's gonna be predictable. So ready again? Three, yep. two, one, go. I had to twirl my gun. Yeah, well, the rest has strafe, you're essentially strafing a circle to kind of throw people off. Ready? Three, two, one, go. And then we're going to go in game afterwards. Yep. I'm taking shots. Oh, Careful with the jump shots. Um, the jump shots are also predictable. Right. Um, 
Try to always have it hugging geometry, hugging an angle, or sliding and moving. It can work sometimes whenever this is a prize, but the problem is that don't always default. Yeah, don't don't always default on it because once it becomes readable, then I'll, then players like myself will start to say, okay, I've I've seen this before, or I know what they're going to do. You know? Right. All right, so let's go hop in game. The okay. biggest tips uh, when you're pushing, really claim claim space, and then make sure your pattern that you're doing is not predictable and readable. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can piano, but you're also spamming a strafe to kind of fly around. All right, let's see how you do, buddy. We'll see, we'll see. Duos is sweaty today, man. It's super sweaty. And then we're going to do viewer games after a few rounds. Ooh, sounds fun. I'm going to bring random peeps from chat and we're going to game. Oh, so it's like, so it's kind of like, I guess it's similar in the case you're getting random people, but it's like, there's running duos with them. Uh, right now we're running duos, and then I'll run with uh with the full team. Oh, I see. Can I apply what I know to an actual game? We'll see. Yeah, this is the thing. Like whenever you train it out, he does really well. Now it's a matter of can he apply it in game. Time for keep in mind with pubs, you're gonna run into RNG, which is fine. As long as like we assess, and it's like, well, that was not a bad fight, or we did a lot of damage, and it's all go good. Viewer games? Yeah, yeah. We're going to do it in like 25 minutes. If you guys enjoy the stream, don't forget to leave a like. I appreciate all you guys for being here. Uh, coaching. Sometimes, you know, I, I like to do it live because like, hey, I'm not afraid to showcase flaws, things that I do. And the whole purpose of the stream is just to learn, to educate and learn. That's the whole point. My favorite peer wise, but is a uh, Thunderwatch. Yep. Can we have? Um, it can be both. I mean, if somebody is asking questions, we're doing pubs. I don't mind answering questions. Okay, no one, no one's contesting. Yes. Oh, I can get looted up without RNG. I guess. Ooh, yes, a car. She's just gonna craft an R301. Shotgun bolt here. Level two. Just a moment. Sometimes it's tricky with coaching. Sometimes if I get it right, I get it right. Sometimes it's I try to only focus on certain weaknesses. So the next time we roll again, there's only a certain amount of time I get with individuals. So then when the next go around, it's like, okay, what what else can we focus on to improve, you know? Like with Brian, I remember last time I gave him a whole different set of things to work on and he's He's really taking it to heart. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like a lot of people that I've one v one and played against. That luckily, I've I've seen the advice I've given make a pretty big difference, which is really cool to see. All right, let me craft some armor and then I'm ready. I'm not. I don't. I don't actually consider myself a coach. I call it coaching because I guess it's technically what it is. I just like to help people, best I can. That's why I don't charge for it or anything. We could go to the store catcher after this. Yeah, I'm done. Alright. Oh wait. I just wasted my time crafting armor. There was one on the ground. <laughs> I should have pinged it, my bad. I was reading chat. Okay, someone's landed near us. I think on the roof. Dropping? Yeah, you're good. Ooh, my aim is a little weird today. Cracked him? Yeah. I'm going around, I'm going around. Got an armor swap. Got a PK. Got him. Nice, nice. good job. These people came out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, they did. Honestly, I'd, I'd probably force myself to play Watson today. My decision making on Horizon is a little wonky. Usually, whenever I have a bad day on, on uh, Horizon, I usually play a little Watson to slow it down, and then I go back, and then I'm usually fine. All right. Well, after that team interrupted us, I'm ready. All right, let's go. Horizon, good. I love Horizon. She's so much fun. 
I just gotta make sure that I slow things down when I play Horizon. When I play Watson, I play really intelligently. When I play Horizon, uh, I sometimes don't always play. On the roof, on the roof. Okay, give me a second. I gotta queue oh. up to you. I'm dropping, I'm dropping. Yep, queuing up to the counter pressure. I'm gonna go back up. Queuing? They're both flush. They're both flush. Yeah. I had the bat. Got him. On the roof, on the roof. All dead. Oh. Well, nice. he did all the work there. <laughs> <laughs> So there's two things that, that happens when you horizon queue, or you make a play. And sometimes I do this a little too aggressively with, with horizon, just as an FYI, is the queue is to, to counter damage and make a push. Um, sometimes when I do that, it's not always a good good play in case they have good aim, because it, it's assumed people in these lobbies that we're currently playing have good aim. They're, like, they're supposed to, because that's what skill-based matchmaking is supposed to be. But sometimes if they happen to whiff their shots, um, well, that's whenever I'm able to counter pressure. If they land their shots, it's whenever it doesn't go so well, right? Uh, if a horizon cues, and it, well, let's say Brian, like, let's say you're queued with a random horizon. If a horizon cues, you know that they're, all their focus is going to be on the horizon. Here, I'm going to get some damage on this guy first. 90 oh, on, on Ray. You're good, you're good. I'm backing up. You can keep pushing, you can keep pushing. One's 90 in. All right. Yeah, keep, she queued. Keep up the pressure, keep up the pressure. Oh, shoot, there's two front. teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ulting them? Two squads, two squads. I'm gonna take a, a different angle, reposition. Yep. He's on the door. Okay, I'm coming with you. You should back up. All right. I'm backing up. Okay, He's now. flush. Yep. Another Watch team, your... another team. Yep, rotate this way on my left, on my left, on my left, on my left. I'm backing up. Batting. All right, team's still inside. Yep. All right, let's back up this way so we don't get sandwiched. Oh, gosh. I'm one. I'm gonna queue up, try to help help you out. Ah. Give me swing me. They're fighting right now. Yeah, you're good. I'm gonna go in a second. I'm about. I got thirsty. <laughs> Still fighting. Oh shoot. Oh. Nice. Was gonna that was clutch. <laughs> I got hit by the Gibby ult. That sucks. One HP too. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna med kit and I'm gonna grab you and I'll res. All right, I'm I'm getting carried by. Okay, Gassies. so what you need to do differently whenever you're going into fights like that is that the goal is to not be sandwiched. So constantly take a different angle of reposition. Constantly, constantly, and keep. It's like a dance essentially. Whenever you're in that intensive a gunfight. And you keep rotating. That's why I keep calling the left back up. and Because you never know when the other team is going to push right back in. Right? Right. So you got to constantly keep finding angles and rotating. But know, like, if your back is exposed. So where you took the angle there, they came out of the building. You got to make sure that is your back clear. Because then where you're at right here is exposed to the team down below. So it's yeah. like you're, you're kind of thinking of positioning in, like, a... How, what do you call it, like 4D, essentially? You're not thinking 3D, you're thinking to the next level. In terms of, am I going to get shot at this angle? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? My nuts? Sometimes. Sometimes. I make mistakes, too. It happens. I guess I didn't anticipate the Gibby just swinging out from the door. Yeah. That's what got me. And it's okay. I mean, I I'm, I make those mistakes, too. I'll, all, all I can do is just kind of point them out for you. Because the... the the difference is, is that whenever I make the mistake, I know I made the mistake. I want you to get to the point where you self-assess and you say, well, that was dumb. <laughs> well, I can't believe I did that. Like you have to be so self-aware that you made the mistake that you're just making mistakes, right? Or know that, okay, this might be a ballsy decision and understand why it's a ballsy decision. You know, if you can get to that point, Brian, you can self-assess your gameplay and constantly improve, which is what I, my goal is to make sure when people watch videos, that they can self-assess and learn on their own to the point where they don't need the video content anymore. I mean, I, I want you guys to keep coming back. I mean, but I also want you guys to be very self-sufficient. I'm not making guides so you guys can be left in the dark and not improve. I'd rather you guys be self-sufficient and know exactly what you're doing over time, right? Astral, if I didn't thank you, thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate you. Just caught a W. The W's happen and sometimes they don't happen. That's that's the, uh, that's the beauty behind... Um, Apex. I don't know. Like, you can be one of the best players in the world, and sometimes you don't just clutch out and capture all like the best gameplay. It doesn't always happen. No worries. Oh, there's another Brian. No worries, Brian. 
Oh. I appreciate you. Even if you were to talk out like your gameplay, sometimes that's helpful too. Talk out what the strengths and weaknesses are. Okay, I got myself Lisa an arc star, just making sure. I did hear shooting nearby. So. I think I heard it too. Moving up, taking this building. Shall we head this way? Someone's got a sentence. And it's okay to be wrong in your decision making, guys. It's better to make 100 mistakes than not make a mistake ever at all. 90 on uh, Bloodhound. Flush on him. Okay. I'm playing the rock. 80 on Path. I gotta reload. Both of them are cracked. One on the right, one on the left. So right now I don't have any other intel except for these two guys up front. So we're gonna work our way in. I'm fighting someone. I'm gonna wide swing around the angle over here. 38. Got one. Right. Still the other team, so I'm playing on the rock. Moving up on him. I have to bat. Yeah, I'm kind of just uh being ballsy. Okay. I'm going up. Ooh. Right, I'm just pushing him because I haven't he, right there. He is. There's a heal. Kiwi. Is that it? Yeah, that was it. Because the other two got killed by the other team, even though I did a lot of damage to them. Okay. So constantly keep that pressure. That that's what I was telling in the one v in the one v ones, where you're anchoring. I know you can do damage. How much damage you got so far? Uh, six hundred. Okay. Um, which is good damage because you're anchoring. Just make sure when you're anchoring that you're constantly working your way in, and that's like the that's the next level. It's different from like Anita. Like Anita knows how to push in, knows how to make really good plays. You know, and honestly, when I play with Anita, I would honestly probably be better on a defensive legend with her than us both playing offensive legends. That's probably what I would change it when I would when I played with Anita. I honestly would probably play Watson by pl by playing with her. You kind of have to adapt to the play style, and that's that's like a another thing in terms of coaching that's really helpful. Like Anita, honestly, when I think about it, like s because we're both really offensive players, one of us has to slow down. And the best way to slow down somebody is by putting them on a defensive legend or a legend that has less mobility. Like when you play competitive Apex Legends, what you'll find is that the most aggro player gets put on the defensive legend. Um, like, uh, here's an example, like Bronzy would be put on Watson because he's probably one of the most aggro players. Uh, my color, let's see what color is it, Cyan? I think it's just one of the default ones. And so with you, Brian, I know that you anchor, so I make bigger pushes. But what you can do as a, as a more of an anchor, because you're playing Valkyrie, is that you got to you got to make uh, bigger pushes in and find different angles and kind of push. Oh, over here, over here. Yeah, I, I can't see through the smoke. I'm blind. I'm an ult. Yeah. She. She backed up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. She drop or is she back up? I have. Oh nope. She's still up there. Okay. I have an itch. Okay, I'm good now. Oh. 84 up top. Just saw a shot from a different team. She's batting on top. Okay. Almost cracked one. I'm gonna Moving bat. Up. Yeah, it's all you for a second. I'm batting. Oh, they're both here. Okay, I'm getting shot in the back. Rotate this way. Rotate this way. I'll cover for you. Rotate, 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 rotate. You're good. Yep. All right. Heal. Bad. I got oh, your back. I got your back. You're good. You're good. You're good. They're pushing up. Yeah, yeah. No, they're not. They're not gonna fight oh. us. Don't worry. Back up this way. Back up this way. Remember the rule. Just keep rotating. Find a different angle. We're gonna rotate right behind these oh. these guys right here, and they're gonna okay. become a sandwich. All right. They're not gonna know what to do. They're gonna be stuck in there. I'm getting sniped. They dropped below. Yeah, yep. Go in the building. Go in the building. Another team shooting at us. Careful. Watch your angles. Watch your angles. Dropped. I'm playing inside. Yep. Ooh. I have to heal up. Yeah, you're good. Think about your angles as you're moving in. If there's another team, do your damage and keep rotating and keep moving. Right. Predictable patterns. Remember, predictable patterns don't be predictable. I'll take right, a different angle. This team is over on the right. Or, yeah, yeah, the right. Oh. They're moving forward? They're here. They're here. Oh, drop, 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 drop. Do you have a bat? Are you good? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Okay. All right, we're gonna zip up and we're gonna go back in. Yep. Yep. Always think sandwich. 
Hold up, healing. I'll hold here for a second. Replicator incoming. It's ranging right now. There's one in that building. She queued. <sighs> Backing up. I don't want to sight on her, but. And we got zone. I'm running a little low on light. I know you're asking Daz, but isolate one enemy at a time? Yes, exactly. Cracks will isolate, pinches, force them into really awkward positions. That's the goal. You said now you need light, by the way? Or? Yeah, I do. do you, is there light in there? I have light. I'm running a car. Oh. Okay. Moving back in. Yep. Oh. Cracked a uh, bang. How many bats do you have? Or uh, I got two. Here's one. I'm gonna back up and look for a little light for a second while I crack them. Actually, I'm gonna craft light. I need light so bad, dude. <clears throat> now I want to try to play with Anita playing Watson, and I guarantee it'll play very differently in our pubs. Some team's landing. Yeah, you're good. You're good. On the other team. Okay. If you if you got an angle, push it. If not, you know you know play it slow. I'm just crafting right now because I had nothing on the way. One's down. One's down. In this building. Yep. Someone else is moving up. Queuing up. I'm going to back up from this, potentially. Alright, I'm batting. I'm going to reposition. Oh, I'm back, I'm back. It's kind of a dumb queue. Ah, got bamboozled. Taking a wide angle. Okay, that doesn't work. That sucks. Alright, that's all you for a second. I screwed up. So there's one in the platform and one in the building. Yeah, I'm still healing. It's all you for a second. I'm not doing anything. They don't want to push each other yet. What guns are you rocking? Car, wingman. Okay. They don't want to push each other. No, it was the last two squads. So sweaty. <laughs> I can't get up on the roof because I'm a Papega. There we go. I got it. Let me grab the ammo. On the opposite roof. roof. Cracked him? Nice. Always oh, one. Good Q. Yeah, he's, he dropped down. Most cases I would have wanted to push that, but kind of. Wait for a second. Yep. If everyone's going to play super passive. He may go for that carry package. Sounds I'm gonna move up. Let's see oh, he's on the roof again. Okay. Oh, nope, he dropped. Right, I'm taking roof then. I'm taking the roof with you. No way, they're Valco team. Got him. <laughs> nice. Last squad. Yeah, yeah. I think they're on the right, right? Underneath. They're underneath, the underneath, underneath, underneath. 146. Dead. One more. Oh god. All right. Right here, right here. Running over to him. Dropping. 181. Easy. We got it. Where is he? He's underneath. Underneath. Nice. Let's go. Good, good dub. Oh, that was sweaty. <laughs> hey, first duos game of dub. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. You're my dream teammate. <laughs> <laughs> you are the I just need. Champions. I just need. You need to take more off angles, and that's pretty much it. And just keep rotating. All right, all right. You have time for one more? Or? Yeah, yeah. We'll all do right. one more. Oh, <laughs> ten kills. Yeah, you're carrying. <laughs> there you go. You get good, good, good rounds. You get bad rounds. It just it is what is what it is. Anita, we gotta play again. But when we play together, I'm gonna play Watson. That's gonna be my fix. So we have better synergy. That's that's the fix. You see, sometimes you identify it a little late in coaching, man. Sometimes I'm like, uh, what is the problem? And like, we kept saying we got to hug more. I don't know why that sounds so weird. We got to hug more and be more on top of each other. And the only way I do that is that I just play Watson or something. If we're both psychos and aggressive, somebody has to slow down. We'll get ranked in together.
Ranked with Daz. Oh, wow. All right, then we're going to get viewers in. Coaching is such an interesting thing. It's a lot of fun. For sure, man. I, I learn a lot. I take it slow, and trust me, I don't, I don't always get it right the first time. So when we talk about synergy within players, that's another thing. Like, I remember when I was talking with Crony, uh, reviewing his VODs. It's like, you can have three all-star players with, with each other, but the problem is, like, do, are, like, it's like, it's like in basketball when you try to pair, like, the best basketball players in the world, and you think, how come they're playing so poorly? How come it's not working? Well, maybe, like, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and, like, I'm just throwing, like, names who play really, like, aggressively. Uh, and, and historically, uh, and also, who would it be? Uh, LeBron James. Would they make good teammates? Probably not. Uh, those are just the three names that I, like, I know who play very like aggressively in their style. But like, back the combo that worked really, really well. Oh, there's a lot of people here. You know, gun. seriously, rest in peace to like Kobe Bryant. I love watching Kobe Bryant. Man. Okay, I have my fist. All right, let's back up if you got nothing. You got nothing? I got nothing. Okay, let's back up. I'm out. <laughs> Not about to die with no gun. I'm covering for oh you. Oh my god. I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. Uh, okay, they backed up. Let's go. Umbra, yo, thank you so much, dude, for becoming a member. I appreciate you, man. Is that Kobe works really well with Shaq because Shaq is a fantastic anchor. Realize your role and then adapt your role depending on who you're playing with in-game. That's another really good tip in terms of coaching. Because I've already identified Brian as a great anchor, so it works out for me because I know Brian isn't going to just, you know, push in like an absolute maniac. But the opposite of what I would have Brian practice is pushing in more aggressively and finding off angles. It's why if there's three people who anchor, they're going to be very bad teammates because nobody's going to push ever. So you got to have somebody who's willing to run in and become a psychopath and push. And it just depends on who you play with and on, on the style in which you're going to push or not. So, it's just synergy. It's all synergy at that point. If you're playing with randoms, which, you know, I mean, even when I was on coaching, technically, I don't I don't get to play with Brian in the daily. I don't get to play with Anita. That was my first time playing with Karjo as well. Is that you kind of identify where you fit into the puzzle and then what you have to either bring up or bring down for the puzzle to really, to really fit. Right? You kind of adjust yourself to, to fit whatever mold that needs to work. You've always been, people have been with teammates who are like super aggressive. So then you know that you got to slow down or just stick with them. Or you got teammates who will loot for like 10 decades and then won't do anything. So what do you do in that scenario? Well, you push a little more aggressively and get them to move. So read your teammates. Uh, Brian, that's big, because I know you sometimes you solo queue and you're playing with a lot of new people. Read their strengths yeah. and weaknesses. If you guys just all are holding, somebody has to make a play. Somebody has to actually push. Good up there? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just because I have white armor. 45. I'm with him. He drops. Charging on my shield. I'm still using a P20. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna slide over. There's a wingman here. I got a Hemi. All right. He's one. Yeah, they're both flushed down there. I might do something they're stupid. Dropping. The stupid play is working because nice. I cut him off. Another oh. team. All right, I'm queuing up. I'm getting out. Out. Yeah, same. Oh, you're fighting underneath. Crack Gibby. At the bat. Okay, I'm gonna do something stupid again. Gibby's flush. Oh, what? I was about to wall mouse. Nice. There you go. Other team. That's all you. Get over here. You got that. Oh god. Good oh, try, good try. He's, he's one. <laughs> that was close. Spitfire, hipfire, ain't it. <laughs> You're facing a lot of master squads today and stuff. 
GG's, good fights. Chaos. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was fun. Hey, you know, I'm calling if I'm about to do something dumb. You don't always have somebody who does something dumb to make an opening or make a play. It's pubs. If if I if it wasn't pubs, then I, I would be just yeah. chilling out there, but it's pubs, so I'm gonna drop and try to make a play. So Shaq and Anchor. Dude, Shaq is like I know him it doesn't seem like he is, but he is a he's a great teammate. Shaq Shaq is like he's like a flex. He's a good flex. Sometimes Shaq can make the play, and sometimes he, he's like a good uh in between and just a good anchor to like to make somebody a a stronger uh, lead, you know? Like the Kobe Bryant Shaq combo is forever in my mind the most iconic combo because they they hide each other. They they brought up their strengths and weaknesses. You know, like 100%. Yeah, I plan to do a spectating platinum uh, lobbies this coming week. Um, I only stream on Saturdays, which is why I only uh, do coaching on Excuse me, only on Saturdays, because that's when I live stream. While the Gibby appears. Honestly, I'm surprised the Wraith actually managed to wide swing me. She just went for it, which I'm really shocked that she went for that big PK shot. Because she got cracked. I was going to wall bounce and then do a 180, but still, I was kind of shocked that she went for it. That's just a, a guess gone wrong. I mean, I dropped. It could have been way worse. It kind of panned out. But I'm calling ahead of time when it's dumb, okay, guys? I know when a play is dumb, but sometimes you just kind of want to see if the dumb play works out because it's a lot of fun. Okay, yeah, they're all dropping, like, at that point. Okay. How do I develop better habits and more consistency? I was it? Shoot, I screwed up my drop because I was reading. You, essentially, all you need to do is isolate and say, okay, to make better decision-making to improve, Michael Jordan, Scotty Pippen, another great combo. Holy crap, right? Every great pusher has a great wingman. Building good habits. I'm going to ping my armor up here. Has everything to do. I'm grabbing the hemlock again. Wait. Uh, turbo charger. Never mind. I'm going to grab car. Turbo? I'll take that. I'm trying to think of the right warding for you in terms of building good habits. Is understanding a foundation. Okay. Let me give you an example of a good habit. A good habit. If the door is open here and I peek, I peek at the right angle. A bad habit would be doing this. Wide swinging and shooting. The wide swinging and shooting can work if I cracked and did damage, but the wide swinging doesn't work if I did no damage and I don't know what I'm getting myself into in that encounter. That's the difference between building a good habits. Those are those are habits. And sometimes you, you develop bad habits in pubs where you're like, I do no damage, I'm gonna push in. If you can identify that they're not smart plays and that they're dumb, like ahead of time, like I, I had no info when I dropped. If I know it's a dumb play, call out beforehand that it's a dumb play so your brain knows that it's it's a bad habit. Otherwise in ranked, imagine dropping on a three stack and then dying and then saying, man, this game sucks. And then like, oh, well, you dropped. Like, what do you, what do you expect, man? Like when I was playing Puzzle with Anita, I wide swung and did a lot of stupid stuff. Like I'm, I'm gonna take ownership of that. Like when I had low ground, I'm like, dude, I, I sucked. It is what it is. I'm not gonna get mad about it. Just that's. They're in there. I'm having a hard time telling uh, what floor. There they are. Flush. One's purple. I'm gonna be Parking. stupid. I'm backing up. I'm not being dumb anymore. Right, I'm gonna pinch them on the other side as you push that side. They're one durable flush. Okay. I've, I'm dumb because. It, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna push it. I forget there's a door, door on the other side. I'm stupid. Kicking. Nice. nice. I'm so stupid. I thought there was a there was a door on the other side of this. They did not see me I've seen this building how many times and I thought there was a door right here. The door is over here. Purple. I saw a charge rifle. I'm going to be cringy again. Chat, I'm going to be cringy. Oh, no. I'm going to grab the charge rifle. Charge rifle in pubs. Ew, that's so gross. Oh. Crack the wraith. Yeah, it's a, actually a mirage. Another team. Kiwi? Yep. I got a bat real quick. It's all you for a second. Actually, I'm going to start shooting you. Because she went for me batting. Armor swap on here. I'm good. I'm just going to finish the bat. Wait, that's a lie. There's more bats here. I'm good. Where's your teammate? 
I don't know. They're both separate teams. That was weird. Pubs is dying simulator. Facts. It really is. And then you get like one crazy good round and it just... And like, you know how I said like whenever you get rolling, you get rolling because the decision making and the, the vibes are just working right here on my ping. 60. 51. Dead. Huh. Huh. Just charge rifled in. I, I don't know why you stood there. I, I don't understand that. that so, uh, bad decision making would be standing out in the open getting charge rifled. I, I would be screaming my head off running and be like, Why are you running charge rifle at pubs? And then die of cringe. And then I do the same thing because I'm cringy. How do you? How did he let that happen to himself? I don't know. He just he just kept he kept swinging it. It was very strange. Right, if you uh, wide swing, this is, this is what I'm talking about. That That's the decision making that doesn't work. And then for Brian, um... You don't do that all the time, but just make sure that you're aware. Because I saw you, like, when you were ADSing last round, and you were, like, shooting. Be aware of all your angles, and, like... You're good when you're in a 1v1. Just make sure whenever you're in a massive pinch that you're aware of, like, what's happening afterwards, you know? Mm -hmm. Let me know if you see a Havoc. Okay. That was an accident. You're good. My bad. I apologize to that poor little child. I am so sorry, poor little Rafe child, that I charge rifled you. Actually, I need energy now. It's... Oh, shoot. Oh, God, you got so far. Oh, yeah, um, I'm running in like an absolute dummy. Oh, uh, Grab this. 4K? Make it to endgame if you want to get a 4K. Oh, shoot. That Wraith is tap strafing like a maniac. Never seen a Wraith tap really strafe so hard before in my whole entire life. Multiple teams here. I don't have a nade. I need nades. You're gonna hit me? A little bit. I'm watching. Just bat, just bat. Yeah, yeah I'm good. Okay, they dropped. There's a team on the right. Teams, yeah. They're taking zip behind us. Ulting them? Oh, my ult ain't in the head. I'm gonna arc that. Oh no. We gotta run back up this way. We're gonna get shot in the back. Let's just keep running. I don't want to get sandwiched by that other team. Because they're dying to third, I bet. Let them do their stuff. I just go to zone. Okay, goodbye team. <laughs> I'm, I don't know what happened to the other team. Uh, they just vanished. Should be like right here. I don't think they went very far. Yeah, they're right here. Oh, I'm playing up here. Reset out in the open. GQ'd. Moving up. 39 on Gibby. He's up here. Okay. Both of them are up here. Alright, we gotta keep moving. They're gonna meet you. I think they're underneath. Yep. I'm gonna queue up on height. Same. I'm flying. They're underneath. Behind, behind. He took your grab lift. Oh, there you did, yeah. Okay, we could do something dumb and drop on him. Oh, I have to bat. Okay, I'm dropping on him because I knocked one. I'm a psycho. You're by yourself. Yeah, you're good. All done. Once again, Daz carrying. <laughs> <laughs> Just finding openings. When you review the VOD, uh, the biggest thing is look for whenever I find openings and where you got caught out and where you fell behind. I think that's probably the, probably the best way to look at this footage and for the coaching session. I know technically we're over the coaching session time and we're going to do pubs so that we're play games of viewers. But, uh, but yeah. Because then you'll kind of see like, okay, well, I, I was behind or what, when did I take the engagement or when didn't I take the engagement, you know? Like at that point, if there's a knock, there's no reason just to let him have that space, you know? I should have just dropped instead of batting. Well, I mean, it depends on your HP, you know? Yeah. Battering is definitely the smarter play. 
But you had to ask the question, what got you cracked, right? Was it the Gibby who came up, right? Yeah. Did you try shooting him at the peak whenever he was going up on the horizon? Hold on, shoot. Right okay. Was, but where? Oh, Charge rifle. I can't see them from here. They queued. He's like probably 20 HP. I'm gonna push Imagine him like a, I'm gonna push him like a maniac. If they got blues and we got reds and purples, they're not winning this. VOD, you have video on demand. Because it's gonna turn into a, a VOD afterwards, chat. So like it'll always stay on YouTube. That's why I like doing the coaching sessions. Like if there was something we learned or I did something stupid, it's permanently here. Behind, behind. Yeah, I'm looking. Dropping on him like a dummy. Reloading. Same. Okay. Good stuff. I'm not Daz, but I'm a, a look in lower sense may help. Or oh, for Molly, what do they say? Any tips for improving my aim on controller? Probably lowering it. When I was working with Karja, it was all about keeping him calm. His sense, he was running five. I think it was five five. And we've got about a minute to find her. Did this guy have heavy? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, he had energy. It's yeah, energy. Worse. I'll take the heat shields at least. I hear shooting. I'm away. I'm gonna scan. My bronze lobbies are just hop dropping. I don't know what to do when everyone keeps pushing into their death solo. Land near the, the action, but enough to where you can run away. If your team all hot drops, let them die. Abandon them. Let's say that let's say there was six teams on Hammond. I'd land over here and then over here on this back spot. Oh my god, I have so many hiccups. I'm moving up on this. Yep, they're right up here. I'm gonna take zip. It's not a bad thing to leave your teammates, especially if they do dumb stuff. Oh, oh, here. On. I'm getting beamed. Okay. Keep moving forward, because I cracked this other guy. I have, to, I have to heal. You're all dead. Yep. I'm holding There's for you. There's another wraith. Okay. You're good. Somewhere here. Shoot. Another team? I got a bat, but I cracked the bang. Nice good stuff. I'm gonna turn and cover for you. No! What are you doing there? Play you. Remember, abandon me if you need to. What is going on? Team right here. I mean, armor swap, where's your box? I didn't realize that Horizon ult. I thought it was from the dead. I thought it was from the dead team. Yeah, play gonna... you, play you, play you. This is a 1v1 with the Wraith. It's top four. They don't see me. It's so quiet. Replicator on its way down. It's below me. I'm not staying here. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. There's a team in there, so I don't know if I'm getting your banner. No, you're good. Play you. I'll be able to coach you from this POV. This will work out. True? No more getting carried by us, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Team's rotating potentially onto me. Nah, they're over there. There's two teams. Doesn't the ulti disappear as soon as they die? For Horizon? I don't think it does. Who did I get shot by, by the way? I got shot by an Octane and a Valkyrie, so it wasn't even Horizon. I killed the Horizon. No way, they're getting res. I'm gonna move up. You're good. Alright. You're still fighting in terminal? You might be able to make a play off of it. Yeah, I'm moving up. Who cares if I'm going out of ring? <laughs> Yep. 
think they're done. After okay. they're done, then you just go go to zone. Goodbye. Oh shoot. Just keep rotating. Go right though. Go right. Remember angles. Because you don't know the other team's gonna run up, and then they are. Back up, back up if you need to. Don't don't fight out in the open. Okay, you got it. That works. That works. As soon as no, you finish it. You gotta okay. play an angle. Play an angle. Quick, 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 quick. That. Why did I cancel that? I right, get out. Nice. I had to reload. Ah. Good try, good try. So the first fight, even though you did the damage and it was perfect, just remember if you're getting shot at another angle and you're out in the open, if they landed more shots, you would have been eliminated. If you know yeah. it was not a smart play, try to call out that it's not a smart play so you're aware. Like if I got caught in the center, I'm like, I'm being dumb, I'm being dumb, I'm going for it. You know what I mean? Just then go for it. But I want you very yeah. self-aware when the play just isn't the right one, even though you land the shots. If you land the shots, it's perfectly fine. Because technically, if you backed up a little bit, that Wraith would have shot the Ash instead. And then you would have been able to bat and get the more time that you needed. Mm -hmm. You should bring in Anita and... Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Cool. Anita, are you still okay. on? Let's go into the Discord. Game Anita, are you, are you around? And then we'll do... Uh, and then I'll bring in people from, from stream. I'll play, I'll play Watson, too, since uh, Anita's uh, aggressive as heck. Valorant, do you think games like Valorant and CSGO help with aiming? Yes. It's a different style of aiming, but in terms of like high ranked, it does help massively. Just don't forget that. All right. Um, I'm going to leave the call, Brian. I'm going to join Discord. Okay. So are you inviting completely different people now? Or? No, I'm going to see if I can bring both of you guys in for like the coaching session or just vibe and chill. Then uh, do a round of trios. Okay. Um, Join this coach's corner. See if they join a uh, chat and I can drag them in. We'll piece it all together, chat. Piece it all together from the piece we've been playing with. I think Cars is probably asleep. I don't know if Cars is here. In squad one, all right, I'm gonna drag you guys up. Brian, hop into a. Uh... Hey, Anita, what's going on? Hello. Shot you an invite. Uh, Brian, I don't know if you can hear stream, but hop into just one squad voice or anything, and then I'll drag you up. Johnny, hello. What's going on, buddy? All right, if you're going to play aggressive, I'm going to follow you as a Watson. Literally be on your butt. Hog. So then we're not both just running in like a maniac. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. I, I will be the only one with psychopathy. Is Brian going to join voice? Maybe one thing. There he is. Brian, Anita, Anita, this is Brian. Brian, this is Anita. We you played before. Play before. Oh, you guys have? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, we've done rank together. Wow. Jeez, you guys are really like. You guys in the Discord are like becoming one big community. I love it. It's a big community. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's great. I love it. I'll let you guys drop this time. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm Watson, so I'm gonna drop hot. Oh, okay. Because yes. I'm dumb as a Watson. I'm the dumbest Go. Watson you'll ever see in your whole entire life. I love stupidity. <laughs> You'd be like, why is this Watson pushing? How come she's riding on top of the wraith? What is going on? Why it. are they aping me? They're holding hands! <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Oh, I, got I got a Devo! Alright, I gotta eva I can fight, I guess. Let me hit I got a Devo, I'm gonna barrel stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna loot this on the far right, and I'm ready. Looting the building. L star. Another gun over here. Another gun. P20, I'll take it. Underneath? Yeah, see? 100 in. I'm dropping. Yeah. He's somewhere here. 
dead. Nice. I need their loot. Another <laughs> another person. Crypto. Over here. I'm going around behind. Okay, I'm gonna swap in front of them. Crack. Okay, got a different They're gun. both one. They're both flesh. Push flesh. They're dead. Knock one. Nice resin. Nice. nice. I'm going double wingman because I'm a crackhead. I hear someone. Oh gosh. Oh no! no Ow. I'm burning. Ah, uh, it hurts. Head. There's swaps in here. Swaps okay. in here. I'm topping off. I think you'll. Are they above? Crap. On me, on me, on me. Okay. You coming? Just tapped. Flush. Green shot oh, in the ass. Got him. I'm batting. Yep. I'm. Hold on. What is? Okay. Flush. I'm need as well. Burning one. Climbing. Dead. Yep. I'm playing roof. Heading okay. in middle. I'm selling real quick. I'm selling too. Killed one. Nice. nice. Anyway. One on me. Here. Gotcha. Why did I get oop timer? The fuck? Okay. You mean the the shoot? <laughs> Language. Um. Mm -hmm. Yep. Final. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have any light or heavy? I'm running a car. I have heavy. Oh, uh, light. Uh, I'm gonna swap guns. That was chaotic, I'm but man. we're alive. <laughs> there we go. We got our good There's round together. Kills. Why do I have four kills? I got two and three assists. <laughs> I have one and two assists. <laughs> Alright, let's go push. Let's go have some fun. Yeah. Woo, that's what we're all about, babe. See, I think the Watson levels out with the Anita's pushing. <laughs> okay, there's, there's light, perfect. Somebody in your background, Brian? Oh, sorry. It's okay. Okay, it's all good. She gets loud. No worries. Can you do, I think, like, right in front of me. Can you do push to talk or tell her to be nicer? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to tell her to, like, hey, you be, be quiet over there, but, you know. Get up. She was very loud. One second. It's okay. It's only for one round. Tell her Tell her it's one round. Tell her she can hop in the stream and I can say, Hey, I heard you. I, 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 I could be like, you, you. You know what I mean? What are you? What the heck? Orgy. Crack. What are you? Why are you? What is that Rafe doing there? Where did you come from? Oh, more people. Yo, Tyler, just good to see ya. Uh, Crack them? Sorry, yep. I'm going left. They're both here. Okay, I'm rotating left to avoid this. I'm I safe. Visual. They're both one ping. Crack. Yeah. 40 flush till I find. Yep. <laughs> Doctor. They're taking zip into this building. Yeah, I'm pushing up. Over here. Yep. Alright, we push together, I guess? Yeah, yeah. Follow the wraith. I'm going behind. Um, parking in there. They're rolled. Got dead? Oh, nice. Ooh. Ooh. That was a nasty one clip. <laughs> Using Phoenix? Yep, same here. Yo, Anita's playing so aggressive, I love it. Exactly, that's why I play Watson, <laughs> so I can balance it out. Because otherwise we both just run in like absolute maniacs, and then we end up, exactly. we get isolated out. And remember the rule with Apex, if, it, if somebody's getting isolated out, then, well, that's when people die. <laughs> yeah. Does you should have tried the Mozambique with the purple bolt. It's so nasty. I agree. I think the Mozam with the purple bolt's crazy. It's, wild. it's so good to have it's... you here, man. Yeah, we, we've been doing coaching. Anita and Brian both went through, went through coaching. Oh my god, your sister's so loud, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. She is loud. Like she's like extremely okay. loud. <laughs> she was fine earlier, but now she's like overbearing like everything. I think even chat is like, oh my gosh. <laughs> It's a lead gamer right there. <laughs> I I heard the why did you exhaust and I was like hmm that sounds that sounds familiar. Hi <laughs> honey. My uh, wife's here. Everyone say hi to Abby. Are you playing rank later? Hi. Not on stream. Probably off stream maybe. <laughs> do you you do more triple stacking in pubs since season thirteen? Not really no. What you're seeing here is a uh, playing with. Technically, the, before today, I didn't really play with Anita and Brian, so this is a, a new no, group. this is the first time. Yeah. I, I think you might have seen me in one of Gabriel's VODs, but like, that's about it. Yeah. 
Dropping a lot of heavy oh. here. Oh. Rip vote, I guess. <laughs> uh, I got it so busted. And I'm gonna play with a bunch of randoms. I what what I do in terms of pubs is I play to warm up like a round or two, and then we just go right in. Brian, you gotta push push the talk. They're so loud. <laughs> if it's possible. I'm gonna mute myself when I'm not talking. Okay, okay. I feel bad, but they're really loud. <laughs> yeah. Oh, everyone's saying hi, Abby. I appreciate it. I'm sorry, chat. And, I, and it's not Brian's fault. This is not Brian's fault. I'm Do not blame Brian. No, no, no. You shouldn't apologize. It's not your fault. Do not apologize. There, there's people in your background. This is what it is, you know? <laughs> like, what if I was in the background just screaming too, you know? I, I, I scream in the background. How many... Okay, relatable question in chat. How many times have you been in a room, you've been gaming, and you have somebody screaming in your background? I want to know. Yes. Type type one in chat if it's happened to you. Two if you never had it happen. I highly doubt we're gonna see any twos. If you have, if if you do, you, you don't go outside or like you don't you don't. I don't know. I, I don't really know what to tell you. There's always somebody screaming in your background. Always. There's always somebody unless you just have like the perfect like quiet room. Then that is what it is. Let's see. Let's see how many ones we get in chat. Do you have you ever been in a gaming situation where there's been people in the background you're trying to game and trying to vibe? Could be a mob, could be a sister, could be a friend, could be anybody. One, there we go, there's the ones, they're gonna flood. They're about to flood. Everyone's had it happen. Two, Dark Ori, you are a liar. <laughs> you are lying to me right now, sir. There's no way. Look at this. And Master Criff, you are lying. Three, what does that mean? Aliens show up to your house? What, is that, what does that mean? Like, are you playing on another planet? Number three, option three, we play telepathically. <laughs> Two, but I'm also speak. also an only child. Let's. Well, I guess that's good. Maybe your parents will be in the background just chatting. But I guess that makes sense. Being left alone in the room. I see a lot of ones Where though. Are these people. I can't be into Brian, isn't it? You guys are running fast. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. This is where. Remember how Brian was talking, t telling you. We hold up you. Yeah. You see, this is this is why I can't be on Horizon to play play with Anita, because Ooh. then. Oh, on, on me, on me. Yeah, we're on our way. Okay. I hear shots, I hold W. Bye. Tap straight. Crack. Get me out of here. Here, Brian, here's a gen, I'm gonna use it too. I'm gonna port for an angle. 42, they're right here. Moving up. This gun does not work. I got one. I'm moving up with you, Daz. Yep. yep. Queuing? The guy's literally like 10 HP, nice. Got him, got him. On me. GG's. Hey. I'm popping. This team here. This isn't the next person's oh. turn. We've already done three. The coaching is actually Got over. It. I just brought everyone in who has been coached. We're just doing a round together. I figured it'd be a, a little bit of fun. Okay. They're not doing anything yet, but... Yes. I'm out. I also don't want to be stacked. You're good, I'm holding. Because technically Maybe coaching is me. over, now we're going to play with viewers. So I figured I'd bring the two in together and test the theory that if I played Watson that it would be better anchoring. And it it's, it is it does work out much better. Me playing a bit more anchor with, rather than the running in like an absolute psychopath creates better uh, balance. You good up there? I think that team backed off. Yeah, I don't see them. This guy has a red armor. Kind of scary. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Everyone forgives you. Everyone in chat understands this is why I told everyone to type one in chat. Uh, 120, 160 on bang. 130 on the uh, ash. Crack that one. He ported. Yep. Yeah, back here. One here. Yeah, pushing me. Right I see, yep. Yeah. Ported. I don't see. Cracked him. Nice. I'm healing. There's no other. Got him. Picked a wraith by me. I hear stuff beneath me here. Yeah, I'm just gonna push. Yep, do it. 
they all dead? No, there's... No, one more. Yep. Oh, shoot. Oh, look away. Batting. How do we get in for coaching? You sign up via the, uh, the Discord. And it's done by, it's done right. for free. Coaching is free. Right now we're just segwaying to viewer games. And I figured before we start viewer games, I'm going to bring random piece in from chat. So hop in the Discord, hop in voice, and I'll just bra drag in two people randomly. And then we'll probably do viewer games for like an hour. You Ryan, have bubble, or? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right. Uh, sorry. I'm gonna make you guys climb. Wait until you're healing. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. One sec, healing up. Not cool. No clearance. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Ready to for burn. Go for burn. Appreciate all of you guys for being here, guys. Don't forget to leave a like. Hopefully, three of the demons be screaming. Oh my god, that's actually crazy. <laughs> Hey, back where we were. Nice. Team up ahead. Yep, I'm gonna med kit first. Give us. I have to syringe it. I got an extra med kit. Hold on. There's another one right there. Here, here I'm dropping and dropping. Thank you. I'll just finish up syringing for now. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of this in a second. Only two squads. Right here in the open. Almost cracked, flush. I'm pushing that. Never mind, I'm gonna put a gen here. Behind. Yeah, I'm backing up. Crack behind. It's a Valk. I'm gonna play with you guys. Screw that. I'm gonna go for the person here. They were here just earlier. Inside, inside. I'm pushing. Oh, I hear them. Outside, outside. Oh. Other team is pushing my height. Okay, I'm batting and I'll come help. Mm, no, I'm just kidding. Out. I hear people. Yeah, I hear them. I think underneath. Yeah, close. close. What gun do you have? Someone else is walking. Here. Cracked. Death. Send it! Oh, they're dead. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. I have the bat. Such a bad spot. Yeah, I got a bat. Port down. I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, I'm taking port. Come over to, to us. I'm taking port. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. I'm gonna fence it off. Holy moly, that team almost killed me. Let's see if they take that. Trying nape. Here. Oh, they didn't Dash take port. Uh, 46 here. on uh, Newcastle. Someone. Pushing Newcastle. Him. Not He's stunned. He's stunned. the guy up top. Hmm? Shit, I gotta reload. Bang's here. I'm ulted off. Up ahead. Counter. I'm one on one on one. Great sporting. Up ahead. Oh shoot, I'm gonna swap in front of her because I'm crazy. <laughs> one clip. <laughs> I literally swapped right in front of her face. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. I didn't have any more ammo. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> I was out. All right, there we go. The squad that that was that was coached today got together. We played to Anita's strengths, played to Brian's strengths as well, and there we go. That was we just ran the lobby. GG's. What it's all about. We just full oh, aped everyone. <laughs> That's yeah. fun. Good game. That's what the eleven what? kills. What the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna bring in two random viewers from chat. So I'll bring in two random people from chat and we'll game from there. Anita, Brian, great uh, great coaching with you guys. Uh, I'll br bring in two random peeps. Thank you so much, man. I All right, GG's, it. guys. I'm going to move you guys to squad two, okay? All right. Oh, no, I'm watching the stream. <laughs> okay. Sorry about the loud noise. Okay, so I'm going to put people's names into like a random drawer. I'm going to draw people's names. Hold on. I'll probably do like two or three of these. I'm not going to be able to get through everybody, okay? So just no. Don't get upset. Because I don't get everyone in. I'm going to try. Okay. Um, so I see you guys in Discord. I'm going to start adding names in. Avodani. Give me a second. I just got to type. BWS. Destiny. Horse. I'm going to rename you Horse in the Discord. You're just going to be known as Horse. Horse man. So I know what to refer you as because we're on YouTube. Marb. 
Midnight and sheesh. Midnight, sheesh. Let's see here. And elite. Okay. So I'm going to randomly drop two people. Bring you guys up. The first one is BWS. So I'm going to drag him down. Uh, I'm going to draw one more. And it picked his name again. So I'm going to draw again. Avodani. Okay. So I'm going to drag you guys all in. Okay, you guys can unmute. You guys are... I drug you guys up. Yeah, I know, Unknown. I just renamed Hi, him in-game. Yeah. Hello, hello. Hi. How are you doing, Avodani? Good to see you. Good to meet you. BWS, hopefully you're here. Yeah, I've been, like, I've been, like, binge-watching all of your tip videos recently. Let's I go. very helpful. So, yeah. Glad to help. Glad to help. Sure. All right. Um, bringing up the volume for you guys. Do I have e both of you guys? Do you guys have me added? Um, no. Here, what's head. what's your in game name? Yeah. Uh, a well baked potato. A a what baked? Well, okay, add me. A well, a well baked <laughs> potato. Yeah, I'm adding All right, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for it. Oh, what is your in game name? Uh, BWS or just add me so I can just be on the lookout for it so I know who to invite. All right. Good to meet you All both. Right. We'll queue up together, we'll get like a round or two, and then I'll do it again, and then that'll be probably it for the stream for the day. Sounds good, sounds good. Okay, I think I added you. Okay. I'm just trying to... Huh. Oh wait, nope. Hold on. Yeah, I didn't see it yet. Yep. Hey, does it learn Apex on a mouse that has 12 keys? Um, I'm now... 1k hours later, totally dependent on mouse binds. Tips on how to unlearn that? Well, mouse binds are, are really important in general. You just kind of shift them around to what you find is most comfortable. A well baked potato, sent you an invite. BWS, what's your end game name? Um, it's on my. It's um. Okay, I got it. I got it. I just saw it. Okay, let's see here. Show up in a second. Yep, there you go. Just showing you an invite. All right, let's do it. Oh, we got two Valkyries. Okay, so who's going to be the one not to play Valkyrie? Play. Uh, do you want to play Valkyrie? No, 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 it's fine. I'll play Wraith. Your mic okay. quality is a little rough, uh, BWS. I don't know if it's picking up another source or something. Hold on. Uh, is it working now? A little bit of staticky. Yeah, it's fine. Just harder to hear you is all. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. All right, let's get it. All right. Let's one of you guys want to play Horizon, then I can play Watson. So who's 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 switching off a of Valkyrie? Okay, you're playing uh, Wraith. Got it. Got it. Okay. We'll see how this goes. Um. I'll play as Valkyrie. Okay. I struggle with close range fights. Do you have a tip for what I should participate in name training? When you're getting into a close range fight, are you getting the jump on the opponent? Are you guys talking through game chat or Discord? Discord. Have you updated Aim Labs playlist? I have not, no. Like what you're doing here? Alex, I appreciate you tons, man. Thank you so much, dude. Again, every little bit of support that you guys provide, leaving a like helps majorly on, on the stream to do more coaching streams like this, more viewer games. Um, kind of blended the coaching into viewer games at the very end. I dedicated an hour to each person. The coaching is free. Now we're just kind of chilling, vibing, giving tips, all that kind of fun stuff. I'll send here. Oh, man. <laughs> Poor chat roasting your mic. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you got one full team on you. Yeah, I got this. Headshot. Oh, that guy's flush. It's a crit. I have an arc star. I'm running away. Moving up. Oh, shoot. That's another squad. It's not even the same squad. Backing up.
Oh shoot, that's a different squad. I that was so many people. Holy crap! There must be like three squads here. That's insane. I think so because I think one squad landed. Yeah, I pushed because I thought there was one, but there was like so many of them. Yeah, there is. It's all good, don't worry. Okay. We'll go again. We'll go again. Okay. We'll at least get it like halfway through the round, if not get a dub. Don't worry. I don't know why that rock was literally standing on that door. Yeah, I, I was, I was kind of screwed. I had a triple take and a Devo, and I'm good with neither of those weapons. So. <laughs> You're like me with the RE45. The best thing to do is just take your time and practice with guns that you're not comfortable with. I need to spend time with the spend time with the RE45. I can't stand that gun though. You, I love the RE45. It's like it's like one of my favorites. Really? I, it, I love it. Like especially with hammer points. I can't like, stand I, it. You know. I know the recoil pattern, but I just it just drives me nuts. <laughs> I think I only like it because it's like one of the few guns that I can actually one clip with if I'm if I'm concentrated on it. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, no, this makes sense. All right, we go again. If that was one team, it would have been fine. That was like three teams. Yeah. I'm just happy that I'm getting into these games. For some reason, like Apex has been kicking me out of like matches recently. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, like I like I just don't have them into the game, so it just says like my teammates are in the like my teammates are in the match and I'm just staying in the, still in the lobby and they're just you know, It's weird, it's weird. I was like praying that it wasn't gonna happen this time. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad at least at least it's working. Yeah. I've learned what not to do so far, exactly. That's the whole point. As long as you guys are learning, that's that's the whole point. I'll call when pushes are dumb. All the time. You'll hear me like, oh, I'm about to do something dumb. Yeah, that's something I noticed too that I really appreciate as well. Because a lot of people don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, most of the time when somebody makes a play, they, they know it's not the best play, but sometimes yeah. it's a battle royale, so sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Got on this game. I craft an R31 might as well since we're here and nobody's contesting. There's two shields on here if you grab them. Okay. I could use that. Oh wait, there's one up here too. Nice. Oh, I need more crafting, rip. Uh, there's an Eva up here. I don't know if any of you guys hear that. We now chat. We're chilling. I mean, if you guys have questions, I mean, don't hesitate to ask. But now we're just chilling, doing viewer games. We're just hanging out with viewers. It gives me a minute to breathe after coaching for three hours straight. Oh, drink water, guys. I forget to drink water. I'm gonna drink water, hold on. Peacekeeper here. Extended sniper mag here. Level four. Ah, uh, alright. Water helps you improve your aim. Honestly, it does. It does it really? It, I mean, being hydrated, yeah. If you loosen oh, up your yeah. fingers and everything, you'll just tense up over time. Water helps. What is that? Have you been getting no regs lately? I haven't. I mean... Maybe once in a blue moon, and they never used to happen before, but I have noticed them at some points. Nothing bad, though. How do you tap, tap straight off a gravity oh, cannon? You have a video on it. I do it better now than I did then. Now I can do really sharp 90 degree angles. I can't do a 180, though. I just never practiced enough for a 180. Close range. That wall bounce effective on console? Mm, you, you can only do it mostly on PC. And you could do controller on PC and do that same movement, but you got to be on PC because you got to rebind so you can spin like. Because essentially, I'm incorporating a tap strafe into it. 
Which is what's making it so effective. Then they're fighting fight now. Let's go fight night. Can I knock our range? In the army, if you ever feel bad, first thing you do is take a knee and drink water. Gotta do the same in Apex, right? Oh, I felt that. Wait, who's in the army? Uh, Tyler in chat. Oh, bet. Me too, me too. Really? Well, thank you for your service. Yeah. I had a, co I have a cousin who was in the uh, in the navy. One oh, guy yeah, over we here. Have few, we have some navy on our, on our post right now. A body. You have four thousand hours. And you're not improving. Why? Well, it's it's going to be a lot more detailed if you have that many hours. It would take me to hop in game and kind of analyze because it could be a whole host of things. Crack the one up top. Not there shooting at me. Yeah. I'm a little far. That's my bad. Are there people up there? Yeah, they're flush. One's flush up there. Oh, damn. Oh. Shoot. I got shot in the back. There's a two behind us. Yeah, yeah, whole squad. There's a... Right here, watch out. There's, there's one behind you. Do you know if it's possible to jitter aim on controller? If not, it's worthless. Not really on controller because you're just jiggling your stick left and right. You need to focus on at least uh, more probably what the mechanic called recoil smoothing. I have a video on it explaining jitter aiming. All right, we go again. One more, one more. Okay. We'll stick more together. Uh, third parties, the third parties, yeah. Yeah, it's a third party there. <laughs> Stick on me and rotate with me and we'll and we'll live. Okay, we'll do. Do you have a video on video settings for Apex? I do, but it's an older video. Maybe I need to update it. You're currently in Disneyland, but stop to watch a bit. Well it's good to have you here. You're Disneyland, you should go enjoy Disneyland. Holy crap. Why go to Disneyland when you can watch Apex streams? Facts. I was wondering how to improve my aim in aim labs. I started off slow because I was told that it can ruin my muscle memory. Don't there's don't stress about muscle memory. Focus on improve, improving your mouse control. Now I, just need to get there. I was wondering what is the Watson play style? Play as aggressively as possible at Watson to keep up with your offensive legends. And then anchor for them and cover for them. It's why whenever it played with Anita and Brian, I had the most damage. Because Anita goes in, does a bit of damage, and then they chase her and then I get free shots. Or I find an off angle, or I find an angle. That's the whole point of an anchor. Like, your entry fragger in CSGO or Valorant is probably not going to have the most kills. Your support or cleanup is always going to have the most kills. Unless your entry fragger is just absolutely insane and then they carry the whole team. Uh, right here. Plays Octane and it's just so annoying. I'm like, you like run? Right? Right? Keep in mind these oh, lobbies are a lot harder than probably your average if we're playing at Master Pred because skill-based matchmaking is pretty aggressive. I would just take these lobbies a little slower in terms of angles and positioning. If you're out in the open, that should be a red flag that you might get caught out and shot. So like an example in that last round, I held back. You guys were kind of caught out. No matter how good your yeah. aim is or how good you guys play, you're going to get eliminated, unfortunately. Like, even if it was me out there, I'd probably just be dead. I was, I was trying to, uh, well, I don't know what I was trying to do, honestly. It's okay. I had, I had, I had some sort of plan in mind, but it didn't, didn't go that way. The, the beauty is that you made, you made a tr an attempt, and that's better than not, you know? Uh, I have a purple shotgun. I really have a hard time focusing in this game. You have a hard time focusing? Shall we get a move on? Yeah, I think it's because with my ADHD, I just... I have a really hard time focusing because I have a lot of things going on at once. Makes sense. I mean, the problem with Apex is that the fights can be very sporadic and slow down. So try to do the opposite of what your gut instinct tells you in terms of pushing in because you're probably already going at 100 miles an hour, right? So do the opposite. Yeah. If you know you're going 100 miles an hour, just know that you need to do the opposite and slow down. Easier said than done, of course, but... Even yeah, even though I take my meds, I just still, like, it's kind of hard. 
do the opposite of what your your gut instinct tells you in terms of pushing and being out in the open. And if you are in the out, out in the open, always make sure you got cover. Like this is even though we're in the open, we got a box here, you know. Yeah, I was trying to stay behind that um like this box, but there is the team that was like behind you. Oh, I mean. Smacked him. Almost cracked the other. Flush and seer. Nice. Flush. I'm gonna wide swing him then if they're both flush. Oh gosh. 147 on the dog. Nice. I gotta sell. I'm gonna sell up as I rotate in. Oh, the right is going Careful, we're split. We're split. Come over to us, BWS. Come over to us. Just ignore them. Come over to us. There's a bangler behind me. Yeah, we gotta re reposition together. Covering. Hit Gibby once. What? I hit a big time. Okay, I didn't even see him there for a second, even though he's a big, big boy. Here you go. I'm selling. Are they pushing behind us? Yeah, let's rotate this way. Rotate this way on me. Come over here. If they keep pushing, we're going to do a 180 and shoot at him. Because they're going to be out in the open. Watching, covering for you guys. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Just cracked him. I'm selling. They may push on that. I'm gonna ult him as I cross. All right, we'll be able to flank again in a second. I'm just hopping off. All right, start making your way this way and rotate on him. Oh, they came out in the open. They're out in the open. They're out in the open. Come over here. I have to reload. Shoot. Pushing. Yep. Cool. Oh, I got the out of bounds thing. Right no. Dab at the bow chain. Oh, they were low. Oh, are they finding another team? I think so. I'm gonna sell out for a second. Push back in. Okay. I might actually be safe to red. Yeah, I'm gonna come back. Give me a second. Also wide open. I'm not able to get hurt, but I'm not bombing. Uh, nope, see, you just tag me. But they're still fighting, though, so. Yeah. Care package. Drop in from low orbit. Grenade flung. Grenade. Oh, shoot. Get no more cells. See if they take the zip up or thing up. Got another team on you guys. Why are you, why are you so hell on and get, getting me? Oh, what the? Oh my gosh. He just decided to full send me oh, instead. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that would be a little you. Yeah, yeah. No audio legends, GG's. All right, good games. I got to bring two yeah. more people in, yeah. but it's good to meet you both. I'll try to do more viewer games in the future. Yeah, good. All right. I'll drag yeah, you guys up good. to squad one, and I'm going to bring, bring two more people in, okay? GG's. All right. Good to meet you both. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's bring two more people in. I'm going to roll randomly. I'm going to drag two more people up. Let's see here. Let me remove uh, BWS because I already added them. Let's see here. Who else am I missing? Uh, Hugh. i got to add you to the list. All right. Let's see who we got. We got Sheesh, so I'm going to drink, bring Sheesh down. Okay, let's draw again. 
Uh, midnight. So we got midnight and sheesh. All right. So hopefully they'll unmute here. They'll hopefully they're watching the stream, and then I'll add them, and then we'll get some games in. This might be the last crew because I want to give you guys at least some time together and like figure out playstyle and everything. Um, hello, hello. Midnight, nice to meet you. Sheesh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello, hello. Do I have you guys added? Um, uh, I don't have you added. Okay, can you guys send me a friend request? What are your names in game? Uh, mine is just midnight. <laughs> okay. Mine, mine's long, and I'm in firing range. Hold up. I need okay. To Shoot me a, a friend request to sort underscore Daz. How do you get on the list? Just by being in the Discord, I just add your names and I just roll them randomly. Wait, so it's underscore Daz? Sor, Sor Daz, underscore right? Daz. Sor underscore Daz, okay. Yeah, yep. All right, I sent it. Okay, it should come through in a second. I'm gonna open this pack and I realize I had a pack. Do you coach Apex Legends Mobile? I do, yeah, I have as, as well. I'm I'm not very good at it, but I can tell you what to do to improve. I'm a, I'm literally probably one of the worst on mobile ever. I'm just, I just don't play mobile. Like I'm probably one of the worst players. But I can vod review and tell you what you do right and wrong. How do we go on for coaching? Well, we've been coaching for the first three hours. Now we're doing viewer games just to kind of wrap up for the day, which are probably for the next thirty minutes. That's probably going to be the focus. Um, shoot me another friend request because I don't see it here. Okay. Again, it's sore underscore Daz, D A Z S. Yeah, we we uh, the coaching is free. We don't charge. I'm just here to try to help best I can, and then yeah, and just give tips, and it's just kind of what I do. All right, I sent it. Did you get it? Is it on Steam? Maybe it's on Steam. Hold on. Oh, I'm on Steam. Yeah. What's your name on Steam? <laughs> also midnight. <laughs> Um, Let's see I, if I can find the, the Steam Buddy or thing. I don't see it. Either from either one of you. Yeah, just add both because there's two sore underscore Daz, but one of them is on Origin and one of them is on Steam. Let me yeah, see if I can load I got up. the friend code right here. I think I did both, Let's but see. let me double check. Because nothing has shown up on my screen yet. There, I sent you the friend code if you possibly on Steam. I don't know if you're on Steam. Yeah, yeah, I am. That's where I'm at right okay, now. Okay. Gotcha. I'm on right. Oregon, so. I sent it to Bull. I'm checking okay. chat. I'm checking stream, too. Okay, so. I said, gotcha. send you an invite. And then for uh, one second. Yeah, his popped up on your screen, I think. Oh, I did it just now? Yeah. What was your endgame name for uh for Sheesh? It's like Peter YouTube. I don't know. My friend made it, so. Peter YouTube? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, underscore YouTube, I think. Okay, hold on. Is it YouTube yeah, no, like YouTube spelled out? Yeah, yeah, it's spelled out. Alright, I'm gonna log into my origin account and see if it appears there. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people have transitioned to Steam because a lot of glitches and stuff running that platform. Yeah, it gets it, it gets confusing. It's so buggy. Oh, I see it. There you go. All right, so I logged yeah. into Origin. I found you. Okay. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, Origin said it. Yeah. 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 Um, I shot you an invite. Maybe I might reload my game. Let's see here. Okay. Let me try reloading. Yeah, yeah. And then for midnight, I shot you an invite. Did you get? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I got midnight in. Uh, let me see if I can shoot you an invite. I added you. Yeah, um, it's loading right now. Oh, you're loading in. Okay, I gotcha, gotcha. No worries, no worries. VOD reviews would be helpful too. Yeah, I've definitely done them before. Galaxy, you're good, man. Don't don't worry. I don't know what was going on. Could okay, you help me out a bit? I'm struggling be bet I'm between in. Wraith and Horizon. I mostly solo queue, fill no pubs. I feel like Wraith has no value at some point of the games. Wraith's value comes with having a small hitbox and be able to reset from a fight. I, I love it, man. Okay. Uh, let's see where you're at. I 
can join your game, see what that does. Okay, it's. I think it's trying to load up. Uh, I might need to reload my game. Because it says you're playing on Origin, so. Let me log out of Origin. Try that. Hold on. Yeah, okay, yeah, I see your Steam account. Can you uh, join off of me? Or invite me, actually? There um, we go. Yeah, sure. What's Where, where are you located server-wise? And I'm invite in, at midnight. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm located east, east coast. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, South Carolina, yeah. Can you have bad yeah, movement still be right. pred? Yeah, because movement isn't everything. It's all about positioning and angles and everything. That's how you improve. Night Fox, welcome back. It's good to see you, bud. Hi, honey. My wife is here with my baby, Miles. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me startle you. Eased. <laughs> wow, big nap, huh? Can we petition to get respawn for 128 tick servers instead of 20? I want higher tick servers as well. I'm 100% down. All right, so we'll get probably with this group at least uh, probably 20 or 30 minutes, and that'll probably be the wrap up of the stream for today. If you guys found anything helpful in terms of tips, anything like that, don't forget to leave a like. Every little bit helps. Yeah, man, I've been practicing on your videos on how to how to go wall jump. Nice. I'm definitely trying to get better at that. Yeah, I was looking about. I was looking at the micro tracking video earlier. Oh, nice. Were you? Yeah. Good stuff. That good stuff. A lot with recoil control. You guys want to drop hot or? It's up to you. I'm down for whatever. All right, yeah, we're gonna have a million hey, so how teams does the here. Coaching work? Does it like uh, appear on the Discord every day or so? Or um, I usually do like an announcement and at everyone and tell people to sign up that I'm doing a session. Oh shoot! Uh, I see. Yeah, got no gun. I'm going down. I like how the comms is nothing but third party. <laughs> yeah, right. I got an alternator. On me. I'm gonna sell it back up. When you land hot, it's just pretty much free for all. Yeah. No. Why can't I climb this? Almost 400 damage and not a single kill. I'm crying. Yeah, this place is a hot spot, man. One floor up. Yep, crap. I'm trying to get your banner, but I don't know if they're gonna let me. My thing doesn't close for a minute. Cool. Time to bake some scones. Crap. 
crap. Only for six. That's unfortunate. Jeez. That's fine. Rings near. Got 45 seconds. Flip. Pick me up. Reckon we're on the right side of that equation, mate. Ring close and we've got half a minute, Newt. Might have a wee cat nap. And I'm back. They're just all going to hunt me. I'm just going to have to rotate. If I hit a little bit more than two sixes, that would have been very nice. I'm going to res you right here, actually. Uh, Ready? Yeah, screw it. This is such a bad res. Oh my god, they're running at me. Oh no. They ran into each other. Holy, what? No, he's literally one HP. They went from a whole being a whole team to them being in shambles. Right? Jeez. Oh god, it's two teams. They can shut up from somebody else. Shields recharging. So. Right on the left side, there's fighting. Also over here on the right. Yep. So we push back. Oh crap. I didn't even hear that oh. person. That's crazy. Didn't even hear them. It just came out of nowhere. All right, we go again. Ready. Yeah, when you when you drop hot like that, it's every man for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> you find your guns, you find your positioning, and then we'll meet up hopefully at the end where we're all doing damage and just running around. It's literally TDM in a yeah. building. Dang. I got nothing wrong with it. I dropped 700 damage, got unlucky. <laughs> What we could do is uh, we could cycle through and then you could drop us in a good spot. That's fine. I'm down with dropping hot. Just know that no, I'm going to be playing every man for himself. Yeah. Just like every other streamer does, you know? It's like, all right, we're going. Find yourself a gun. Best of luck. You rotate out. It is It is what it is. <laughs> you ever still coming to Twitch? I don't stream enough, man. I only stream once a week. Literally only stream once a week. It's what, it's what makes these streams also special, you know? I post three videos a week and then one stream and then one short. And we we uh we keep popping with content, man. It's actually a good rhythm because then you can figure out which what your next plan of video. Exactly, yeah. If you do it consistently, you kinda of run out of ideas and content. Yeah, and it's consistent. Exactly. Yeah, it's not the hardest thing that it's it's not that hard to keep it consistent, so Drop here. Should be hot. It's always like two or three teams here. Okay, maybe not. I lied. <laughs> I, I mean, people used to land here a lot, a lot too. I mean, it's right off the 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 ship. That's true. Probably. Yeah. I think one team is coming late. Oh shoot! I got a full team on me. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna tap straight. Run around. Dude, they are hard chasing me. They know it's you, man. Probably. They haven't stopped, man. I'm still being chased. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Got your back. He's stimming at me. Oh I'm so I'm dead. Oh, no. I died. I'm so quick. <laughs> there we go again. So yeah. He just octased him at me, kept punching me. There's no way I'm going to live. All right, we go again. He's I signed up. Don't know how to find out. Is there a list? I just, I'm doing two groups. So at this point, I'm just uh, playing with the viewers that we got. Get out if you're lucky. There's no way I'm getting out, dude. They dropped on me and they're stimming at me. There's no way I'm getting out. I need to hit a bin, but like, if I stood there and hit a bin, like, I'm gonna die. Like, I just, I'm just dead. That's it. I know the channel's about helping others, but do you have videos of you dominating ranked or pubs? I can start posting if people want that, sure. Usually the, the guides and stuff. I don't know. I just haven't really found a balance. Yo, Knight, thank you so much for becoming a member, dude. Appreciate you. I like how everyone dropped late. Yeah, all right.
Lately I've been trying 1800 DPI on 0 0.75, seeing how it is. Nice. I'm sticking with aim labs for a little bit. Gotten higher scores, that's for sure. Alright, now we'll drop hot again. Alrighty. We'll drop over here. Yeah, I got Bangalore, so maybe we can get out of situation. Nice. <laughs> Pop some smokes here and there. I got so unlucky with that team, they just wanted me dead. That was so fun. Yeah, right, Chevy? Bad day, bad day, bad day, bad day. Oh, no. I got you. I'm helping out. <laughs> no, he's gone. I don't even worry about that. That guy got unlucky. I'm gonna heal up on him. We got running back here. We got a gun. Yeah, I got a gun. Is that the champion spawn? Oh my god, there's a guy here. Oh my god, there's people in here. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. No I got no gun. Gotcha. Oh my god. <laughs> I have no gun. Oh. I'm covering you. Oh, what the heck? Got you. Flush on him. They're mine. New castle too. Swapping. I can't. Down. Gibby. Okay. By himself. Resin. Oh no. I'm blanking. Uh, I got 17 bullets in my uh, car. We gotta kick uh, the doors and get those. Right, we're here. Heavy ammo. Okay. Drop it down. Behind you. Thank you. Where? Shoot. Right here. Hi. Alright, backing up for a second. Yep. Popping a uh, smoke. Alright, I'm gonna take a uh, building up here. Come back in. I fight a gun, man. <laughs> oh, no. I'm Covering dead. you. <laughs> Castle, maybe pushing. Castle pushing. Dead. Oh shoot. <laughs> Yo, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm dead. Oh yeah. shoot. Oh gosh. There's another one at the door. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Good try, good try. There's so many people there. Yeah, man. Yeah, we'll keep going. Digging right. it. We'll do viewer games again soon. I don't know when, but we'll rotate out. Right now, I I mean, I want you guys to feel like it's not just like a rotation of like... I'd like to at least spend like 30 minutes per group at least, but... That's like four people that we went through and then we did coaching, so it's a good number. Like, I, don't, I want you guys to feel like you had time rather than just like getting kicked out, you know? Right, I feel you. I came here to party. Welcome back, Rowan. It's good to see you. Dude, I had no ammo. I was over there swapping like nothing, dude. <laughs> I had no you guys want to support or? That's up to you. Whichever you want to run. The bots, and it means that you're growing and doing things right when the bots show up, you know? Yeah, man, that, Rogue that is a good dude. Good I remember too. when Rogue used to have like no viewers, and I remember like wanting him to stream more and more, and he just. He really blew up, man. He popped off. What's my resolution? 1680 by 1050. Alright, we got this. Um, I don't know if I'll drop a super hot. We'll see. Wow, they're all landing. Okay, let's go over here then. <clears throat> it's like a mixed bag over here. Again, if you guys enjoy the stream, love coaching sessions like this, viewer games, all that fun stuff. We're just vibing, chilling. Yo, bro, are we bullying the sweats? I mean, we're playing viewer games. I haven't played with uh, with Midnight or Beater before. Wow, there's no guns in here. I'm getting out. Wow, there's literally no guns. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing in there. That's crazy. Oh, no. I'm dead. I got a Mozam and a bow check coming. I got a R99. I don't have my I'm coming. Killed the wraith. Nice. Watch out on the right. Yep. Oh, left. Oh, I ain't dead. Oh, oh this one just came to us. I'm so done. Oh, God, they were above. I'm dead. Oh, my God. That was crazy. Can't your break. <laughs> Somebody's background. Somebody's. Some of their shifting bags. 
for a minute there. How do you bunny hop like that? Uh, I have a full movement guide tutorial up. Horizon is definitely a sweaty legend. I could play Watson. You guys want to see me play some Watson? I like, I like this time. Keep in mind, one of your mics are hot, by the way. Oh, I think it's Sheesh. Sheesh? Oh my. That's a good mic, though. It picks everything up. Yeah, it's a good mic. It picks everything up. Yeah. Yeah, I got the, um, the Wave 3, I believe. Yo, Sheesh, your mic is hot. No, I can't. I'll have to turn it down. Let me know whenever he uh he's back. <laughs> Just in case he says something to his mom that he's gonna regret. I don't know. True, true. He's on YouTube, so this is gonna turn into a VOD. I'm not gonna let let that poor man get uh outed for something. Oh he's gotta go. Oh he's gotta go? All good man. Um I I'd say we can bring someone else maybe. Yeah yeah we can. We can bring somebody else. Yeah, we just leave the game and then bring somebody else. I'll just bring Hugh in from above. Good to meet you, bud. Have a good one, buddy. Yeah, in trouble with his mom. <laughs> oh no. I'll drag him to squad one. I don't. Uh, yeah. Oh, he already left. Okay. Jump master. All right. Well, that that's that is what it is. Yeah. Are you DC? Well, I feel bad. That, I'm glad I muted him when I did. I didn't want him to say something he was gonna regret. You know. True. Yeah. No. You never know. That would not be good. And then all that three hours of coaching. Oh man. <laughs> been all gone. Yeah, chat, remember to do your homework before gaming. Put Watson there. I was gonna play Watson, but he got Watson first. It's fine. Well, we're duo squad. We'll we got Bangalore, so you won't be too far. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we could just push in. Yeah, true. I mean, I only got the P2020. <laughs> you want a Spitfire? Yes, sir. Where are they at? We're all inside the ring. Fantastic. All right, let's push in. Let's go First say hi. Glad it's not one of us. So how does to does toggle sprint or like I was I was reading or I mean I was hearing your video about toggling and the whole thing. What's the difference? Like, it's all personal preference. Uh, yo, on me. Oh, looking. Oh, on top. Oh, there's another Ash. I'll bring in Hugh, see if, he, if he's able to hop in. Yeah. Let me see if he's available. Yo, yo, you there, Hugh? I don't know if he's there. Hey, you doing oh, it? pretty yeah. good, man. Hello, hello, what's up, man? Yeah, yeah. I'm doing good. Uh, so, I'm about to load up my PlayStation. Okay. Okay. Yo, on me. My uh, stream is in your background, so I'm gonna have to mute you. Okay. Oh yeah. my god. Mute the stream. All right. Message me whenever you got the stream muted in the background, because otherwise it'll it's just gonna echo like crazy. What's the story behind Daz as a gamer tag? Um, the background behind the gamer tag is whenever I used to play World of Warcraft, my friend's name was Hagen and mine was Daz. We we're thinking of names like Bonnie and Clyde or. I don't know, Starsky and Hutch, you know what I mean? Like how there's like two names that go together. You know, we kept thinking of things like that. And then we just saw ice cream, like Ben and Jerry's, Hagen dazs like two names. And then we were both gnomes. So then we just kind of decided to do that. All right, hopefully Hugh gets on. Bro, bro Hugh, I got you muted because you're like doubling up hot, hard. Oh, he's, on. He's, got, he's got the stream muted, he said. Okay, okay. Okay, you there here? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Am, okay. am I still loud? Or I'm adjusting your volume. You're good. Okay. Um, I was gonna uh, talk on my game chat. Is that okay, or do I just talk through here? Um, I guess we could talk through game chat. I can bring it up. Okay. I don't know which one you prefer. I'll do I'm... open mic. You'll just need to mute me midnight. Yeah. <sighs> All right. I guess I can mute my mic here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, you. What's your uh? In-game name. Okay, well, Batman. It should, be, <laughs> it should be Hugh underscore Jazz 3000. Do you have me added? No, I do not have oh, you added. Go ahead and add me. Okay. At first I thought your name was 
D A C Z, and I couldn't find you. That's all good. Mario Luigi, that's another good one. Yeah, exactly. Like dynamic duos, essentially. And well, my friend stopped playing uh, games, and so that's where it kind of stopped. You know. Minna, you can chat in a uh, in Discord. I, I'm, I'm I'm muting you in game. Oh, okay, okay. So then it doesn't double up. Yeah, no, because I was pretty, <laughs> it was pretty quiet. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Yo, Mari, it's good to see you. What's going on, buddy? We got maybe like one or two more rounds left in us, and then we're gonna wrap up for the day. I'll do a little Watson towards the end here. All right, I'm booting my game, so I'm about to act you soon. Okay. I'm still determining what sensitivity I should run with this because it feels a little bit too fast. Because I got a, I got some, I got super light obviously, and then I got a core pad, so it makes me feel like I'm on, you know, pretty much ice. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if I should lower it, my chance. Just try different senses. Go super low and super high, and then just find the middle ground. You know. Yeah. I think that's a Celestial, I'll just go ratchet and clank. That's a good one. Dad's doing coaching. Yeah, we've already done three hours of it, and now we're doing viewer games. Just bringing viewers in. Are you? Have you added me? Are we loaded up? I'm adding you now. Okay. I'm gonna get people roles in the Discord. People haven't really read. Uh, I guess the rule set. Yeah, there were some people complaining like, oh, there's no, there's nothing here. I'm like, bro. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta, it's right in front. you gotta accept the rules. Yeah. And now I feel like uh, people were having trouble looking for the, like, probably the coaching session thing. Yeah, yeah. What you have to do is you have to, like, click almost every little, uh, you know, email that's in the chat for the Send you a friend request. feedback and then it shows up. Okay. Looking for the friend request? How do you spell yours? It's Hugh underscore jazz, right? 3000. See if it shows up. Will you be streaming next week? I always stream every Saturday. I haven't missed a Saturday in I don't know how long. It's been, I, I literally have been streaming every Saturday. The, the Hugh and the jazz is all capitalized. And then it's just 3000. Can you see me? Or? Don't, it's not appearing. Let's see you just hue underscore. Uh, getting an error. That's weird. And I don't see your friend request. It hasn't come in. Let me try. It should be. Yeah, if type three thousand after the jazz. Okay. Can you try sending me another friend request too? I'm trying to go to Origin and see if it's there. I don't see you there. And your name isn't appearing. You it like jazz? I like jazz music. It I says mean, like, remove your friend for some reason. It says what? Like when I like, so I'm just gonna send you another friend request and says remove EA friend. So oh, so you're email. already here? Maybe you're already here. Can you join? Let me. I'm gonna open my party. Can you join off of me? Yeah. Okay, I can. Let's see. All right. There you go. Perfect. Okay. All right. Go ahead and uh, mute up in uh, Discord, and I should be able to hear you in game. If you're on push to talk. Hello? Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Yeah. Do you have an open mic? Um, I think I have like a regular. I don't know. I don't do any. It doesn't have anything fancy. I just. Because. It, oh, because we're playing. Because it, it's going to echo in the background. I think it's good, though. Yeah. Is it echoing? Let's no. see. Test, test. Oh, test, test. Like very, very little. Yeah. But 
Maybe I can lower the volume. That yeah. Oh. Uh, test test. Yeah. Test test. I hear myself whenever I speak. Yeah. I can just uh, turn it off when I'm not talking. Yeah, if you can. You mean like during the week? No, I only stream on Saturday. I post content during the week, like video content. Yeah, of course, Forge. I appreciate you. I think I played with this man already. You've played with me, Grim? Or who? Who are you talking about? Apex is the best game ever. It's a fun game. Zia, good to see you. Be more patient. Patience is key. Paula, I've been having problems being non-binary. I want to talk to you about it. It doesn't matter what your preference is. Should always be welcome whatever community you're part of. Doesn't matter what, like, what, however you feel about one way or the other. We're here to play Apex. Everything is welcoming. Whatever you like, it doesn't matter. That's, that's the type of community we built. All welcoming, all encompassing, doesn't matter if you're a cat, dog, binary, non-binary, pansexual, straight, non-straight, it li doesn't, literally doesn't matter. We're an all-inclusive community. And we're just here to all improve on Apex. Without a gun, I cracked him. Yeah, I'm just dropping. I don't have a gun. I'm gonna have to run. Can you knock somebody? He's fighting somebody right now. See if I can possibly get down. I'm gonna come back. Oh, it's phasing away. Let's go. Oh, there's a guy right in the open. I got down. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Got to top off. There's a guy right around the corner. Building. There's two gas tanks here. Somebody shot me from a distance. I don't know who it was. That poor Wraith. Burning. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Holy. Oh, my chat disconnected. That's not good. I need to hit refresh on chat. Hold on. Alright, we go again. Oh, there we go. Reconnected. All right, half, half. Appreciate you for being here. Thank you so much, man. What's your favorite legend? How many hours do you have on Apex? Probably have about over five thousand. I really enjoy playing both Horizon and Watson. <laughs> Arvind. <laughs> I think the problem with hot dropping for me is that I'm so used to like going into ranked and then like, going farther, you know, and then like, getting myself set up. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm like over here looking for scraps. You gotta, I guess the beauty of learning how to hot drop is that you just learn to play with scraps and do damage and get knocks, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm glad that the, the, the stream has been helpful and that you guys have been learning. It means a whole lot. You know, we, we try oh, to yeah, just, no. I want everyone to feel welcome. Good. Try to do something different for the community that's, you know, it's like how many streamers really play with, with viewers, you know? I don't, I don't that's do so it all true. the time, yeah. but I, it's it's hard to, but I try. I, I try to bring random coaching, random viewers. You know, it's like, I I do the best I can. I'll play her Watson. I don't think you were playing Horizon. Paula, can we play one v ones and play? I try my best to play with everyone. Try Wraith. Your gameplay is offensive. That's why I play Horizon. I don't play Wraith strictly because everyone plays Wraith. I kind of just do it to do something different for the memes. And when I do play offensively, I play Horizon. But yeah, my gameplay is very offensive. I know that. That's why I do something different, you know? I'd probably be absolutely insane as a Wraith main. Like, I have no doubts about that. But, you know, it's just fun yeah, to do something you different. Movement down easily. Yeah.
All right, this is probably gonna be our last one, so let's play it safer. Alrighty. We'll land uh, here. Looking around, we got a team right next to us. Yeah, I'm gonna land right in the center because it's where the loot is. Yep. With you. Why can that not connect? That's crazy. Oh, she got gold. I hit her for 67. I'm gonna run up on her. Ready? I'm with you. I'm gonna get this armor swap. No, he's one shot. I'm away. Dang. Open the doors, closing them. Is he still here? I'm holding. I'm holding the doors. Nah, he, he went down. He's heal, healing somewhere down. Okay, I'm rezzing. Hold on. Let me help you. Only greedy one of them. I'll hold the doors while you res. See if they res the... Come on, come on. The one guy. Six bullets, make him count. There we go, got him. Alright, GG's. Ready, let's see. Daz, what do you consider a good KD for Apex? I know it isn't everything, but I'll like a check mine. Um, it's kind of hard to say. I mean, like you could hot drop and die and be a really amazing player and have a really bad KD, or you can sit there and play super passive and not know how to push and have a really good KD. You know, I think it's better probably to pull a player back and teach them to slow down rather than trying to get them to push. It's harder to get somebody to get confident to push. Been trying to catch up with. Can we play some one v ones and play? I do my best to try to play with as many people as possible. That's why I do viewer games and coaching. I'm just one person though, you know. I'm not perfect. I do my best though. Uh, I can drop you some heavier here. Yes, yeah, same. Sure, caught up. Is Valk very good at movement? 100%. Yeah, Valk's movement and getting height and repositioning is astronomically good. The confidence boost you get from Rafe changes it up for sure. It definitely does, yeah. I mean, I make a cracked Watson too. Make a cracked Watson and Horizon. Some of the best educational material. Not sure if you have anything planned for bit size video, more digestible stuff. Maybe. Right now, I'm doing shorts that's more like fun stuff because I don't feel like I do enough fun or like gameplay highlights but I always want the videos to feel lengthy in terms of like oh, what's the word I'm looking for that there's substance I don't ever just kind of want to do shorts and just kind of like cheese the content if that makes sense just because I feel like I'll end up repeating a lot of information are you gonna get pred this season I'm diamonds I just haven't had a whole lot of time to play probably not the problem is just getting time to play doesn't mean it's not doable. I just got to put in a significant more amount of time than I'm putting in now. But Rob's good to see you, bud. Oh, I flank. I think they're rezzing. Yep. Do turn right on him? First floor? Yep. Selling up. Oh, 
Oh shoot, this is not good, not good, not good, not good. Oh my god, there's another guy downstairs. Oh my god, there's so many people. This is crazy. <laughs> Best legend right now? Valkyrie. Resin me on the outside here. You can. All right, one more, one more. I promise this is the last one. This is gonna be the last one, okay? Good fight, though. That was a lot of people. There we go again. One more, one more. Uh, let's see here. Best legend, Valkyrie by far. Valkyrie is by far the best legend. She provides utility, great rotation, good offensive cue, good rep repositioning for the whole team. Or Gibraltar, one of the two. Valkyrie or Gibraltar. Comzy, I appreciate you, man. I try. I mean, it's not my content isn't perfect by any means. I just want to admit that my streams aren't perfect. My content isn't perfect. The only thing I can do is keep posting, keep improving. Just as much as I post guides about improving, I'm always thinking about how the videos can be better. And sometimes it just runs short in time, but the goal is to at least, if a video goes out and helps somebody, that's the goal. It doesn't matter how many views it gets. If it gets 10 views or one view or a, a hundred thousand, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Contran said it really well. I mean, you know, we're, we're here also just a very welcoming group of individuals. Our focus is to be inclusive. Um, but we're just here to game. That's it. That's all. That's the main focus of the the stream. It's how you get better at Apex Legends coaching tips, and everything outside ever, of that. I'm just I'm just one human being. Have you ever fiddled with your sensitivity multiplier? Multiplier like uh, ADS? Yeah. Uh yeah. Um, it's I reverted it because I haven't used it in a while. Oh, so it's just like at one right now? Yeah, I just have it at one, but I did at one point. Valktac is just not very good. I 100% disagree. It's very strong. Great way to put some pressure behind an angle and get people slowed. It's free damage. Especially in ranked, you can't, can't deny free damage or breaking a door for free without using a nade. It's very, very good. Akimi is very good today. Good, good stuff today. I need help with 1v3s and Apex. Can you give me some tips? The best tip I can provide is isolating opponents. You don't want to win a 1v3, you want to win a 1v1, v1, v1. Not attacking all three at once. Where do you want to drop? Anywhere, I'm down for anywhere. I'm easy going. This is going to be our last one, so if you want to take it slow, we'll take it slow. Pretty high for the Apex TV show, is that actually a thing? Teams coming here. All right, sounds good. They're back here. Uh, yes, I have a Discord server. We keep it pretty close knit. I mean, we only really see where it's spammed is here on the live streams. I think we oh we created a gold shield right off the bat. Okay. Nice. Let's go. This is this is the one. I'm gonna pick that up. I got a sentinel, so I can see if I can maybe snipe him from a distance. Find a scope, let me know. Did you pick up the car? Uh, no. Okay. I, I picked it up, I pinged it. Oh. Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I hear someone under us. Looking. I'm away. No. Oh, Got a bat. I'm gonna come in in two seconds. Closing the door. Oh no, I accidentally finished him. Oh. I'm here, I'm here. Woo! Close the door. Good. I had to use a med kit. I'm here, I'm here. Never mind. Flush. Hit him. He's really, Got him. really, really low. Yeah, I'm gonna nice. use a med kit. Reset, reset. Let's see where Noah we're at. It's fine. She's gonna get hit by the thing. That's funny. Alright, I healed up. I'm gonna push this here. Yep. With you. 
Kick it. Oh. I kicked him. Nice. <laughs> good job, good job. Right, we got banner. Uh, where's the next res? We'll go over there. Oh, I got a mobile respawn beacon, actually. Oh, nice. All right, put that down. Yeah. Wait, did I loot his box by accident? Did I loot your box? I'm so sorry. No, I didn't. Okay. Your box is over there. For a minute there, I totally thought I looted your box. Oh, mine's the purple one. Okay. That works. Alright, pretty much set. Alright. Again guys, thank you guys almost so much so much for being here. I know we got this last round. Don't forget to leave a like. We'll do more of the stuff if you guys leave likes on this specific content. Sometimes I don't know if we just do more view games in general or do we do more coaching stuff. You know, let me know. And if people watching this as a VOD or content, you definitely got to com comment and let me know. You can see a purple over there. I'm going to push that purple. Yo, Rai, what's going on, man? Things are going well. You know, we're just hanging out. Just last game of the day. We've got through three hours of coaching. You know, where we were doing viewer games, just hanging out with peeps, just having a conversation. Just, just good stuff, man. Just vibing. I dropped a blue. There's also an another blue over here. I meant to ping the blue. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of the sentinel. Okay. Do you need the bat? I'm sorry. No, no, no. I got the phoenix. Okay, okay. It's all good. It's even. Shotgun. L star. Over the havoc? Yeah, I think so. Just need sights. But Rai, how are you doing today? Ooh, another Havoc right here. I don't know if that's your bag. Oh, okay. No. Anyone passes through here? Way too many cells. 30-30 here. Too many med kits. Grab the 6 sex. Oh. Settings? What settings are you looking for, Snoozy? I'm just looking for opponents at this point. Oh, there we go. Let's go attack that. I'm going to find out. Yeah, they got two whites, two people dropped out. Oh, shoot, what the heck? Hit him, hit him twice. Nice. 81 on the Valk. Nice. She's got in this building. Break. I think we push her. Out again. She's the only one that's got any loot right now. And a bat. You can swap off of her if you need to. Yep. Me in. Yeah. <laughs> right. She's over here. I'm waiting for her to peek. Pushing her. Wait, I hear a zip people line. On the zip line pushing. Yeah, I heard people. Oh, oh shoot. This is a whole different team. I'm just going to push up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm dropping a drop pad just in case you need to leave. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm going to bat right here. I'm gonna cover in a second. We gotta get out. Use the jump pad to get away, Horizon. 81 on one. Cracked another. Got Octane. Oh, Are you reloading? Going up here. 
Yeah, let's back up. I'm gonna try to res because they're gonna res. Yep. Oh, shoot. Threw an arc star over there. Yep. Just so you can get off of you. Oh shoot. I'm dead. Out of bat. I'm 100% dead. I think Watch they're getting third in. Can you res while I'm healing? Yeah. Nice, they're running. I'm getting the yeah, med kit off. Nice. They're, they're coming right now with the jump pad. Okay. All right, no, he actually avoided it. He's on the left side right here. Yeah, I'm backing up. I'm backing up. Yep. Get back. I'm throwing a, I'm throwing a thermite. Okay. I'm going up top here on this rock. I'm going to get some high ground. Oh, yeah. I got a perfect angle on him. Yep, down him. Nice, nice. I'm looking. I'm looking. Oh, they got me. Knocked. 1v1, 1v1. You got this? Nice. Good stuff. Let's go. They're going to push. You might need to run. Yep. My uh, chat disappeared on me. Hold on a second. Batting real quick. Let me know. Let me know if they're pushing me. They are. They're right on his bo body. Oh, man. Hmm. It's okay. Play you. Play, play your life. Should I run? I don't know. Hmm. It's up to you, man. Or maybe you can get in this corner and I could possibly res you. Yeah, I'm trying to crawl they back. See you. They don't see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at them. Oh, they're running up me. I'm completely blind. My chat disappeared on me. My uh, internet disconnected on my laptop. Going down. I'm going down. Oh, he doesn't see me. I don't think he saw me. Oh, now he saw me. Oh, he didn't see me. Oh, my God. Oh, nice, nice, nice. <laughs> nice. The strats, the strats. <laughs> oh my god. Hugging the wall. Oh my god. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. That's crazy. No, no way. <laughs> I got a phoenix. I got a phoenix. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You need. I need. I need. Thank you. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't believe that happened. Wait, did I, I pick it up? I can't believe that happened either. <laughs> Using it. A Holy. If anybody's watching, my laptop stopped connecting to the oh, internet for here. some reason. They're looking. They're looking. Nice. Fry I them. hear footsteps. Oh, yeah, yes, they're right there. Yeah, yeah. I do get just let them pass. On yeah, them yeah, I see. agree, I agree. Let them pass and see if you I'm can running, I'm running now. Oh, good, they're ziplining. Let them zipline. Holy Perfect. crap. Perfect. No way. No way we get no this. No way. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's no way. Alright, I need heavy. Bad. Yep. There's no heavy here. There's heavy. Oh, man. Alright, I'm gonna slide down and res. Careful you not to hit the gas. The, you want the gold shield? No, 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 no. I saw you. I'm good. All right, man. Oh, dang. Gas. <laughs> oh, gosh. They may come back. Nah. I don't think so. Possibly, but... All right. Um, right. I'm going to rest here. Nah, they're fighting someone else. Okay, okay. I'm going to rest. I can already hear them. Did my stream die? Hold on, let me see here. <laughs> Make sure it didn't. Okay, some Someone's drop getting... frames. Oh, that's him. Okay, never mind. Supplies coming in. I'll, get Evo shield and stuff here. I'll have this be the last one. I think my stream is like screwing up for some reason. Ready. You said you needed heavy ammo, man. <laughs> I know, now there's like a million of it. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, like Let me tap out and look and see uh, YouTube. I'm sticking with the devotion. I was frying. FPS, yeah, I don't know what's going on. The internet says it's stable, but weird. Okay, all right. Well, I'm gonna tap back in. This is gonna be my last round, guys. All right. I guess it's good timing because something's going on with the uh, True. connection. The longest match that we've, we've been yeah, this so is a good. This is a good one to technically end on. This is a good one, yeah. I'm sorry, chat, for the ending, and I I'm gonna tap out and rechat right before I wrap up and end. Hey, uh, do you guys, any of you want a Phoenix kit? I got a spare one. 
Um, sure. I'll take it. I don't have any bats. Unless you want it, uh, Hugh. I want the flatline. Okay. Oh, the people fighting back there? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's see if we can get on the right side. Maybe, and get an angle. I don't think I'm I gonna don't take shots now. Too deep. Yeah, I don't wanna push too deep. Got her? There, uh, they, there was another knocked on their team, too. There's people in that building. Crap, crypto. I'm looking on the right to see if there's any other, other team that can pinch us. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna keep pushing forward. I don't think I see anybody on the right so far. Just taking angles right oh, now. Th that's just that's all the squads actually. There's only three. Yeah, yeah. So that's everybody. Might win this. Guy has a bow. I'm not trying that. <laughs> Using charge rifle and pubs. I'm an embarrassment. <laughs> it's a third party oh, okay. Crack Horizon. They're all fighting. Yep, cracked crack them hard. Yep. Nocturne, reloading, pushing. They're fighting pretty hard. Yep. Do want to jump out here? Crypto's down. I can get on, on the top of the building here? Yep. Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect angle. Oh, uh, guy on top is really white. Yep. He's trying to bat. Got him. Caustic's almost flush in there. Got him. Got him. Throwing an arc star up there. Let's go. Nice, there we go. go. Perfect way to end it. <laughs> All right. Good Let's game. Go Good games. <laughs> you. Hugh, GG's. GG. Also GG's yeah, across the board. Man, you. Yeah? Did you change it that round? Yep. I can't I believe we clutched it out at the end there. That's crazy, <laughs> man. Yep. Midnight. Awesome. Hugh, have a great, great rest of your day. Great rest of your Saturday. I appreciate you guys. All right? You too, man. All right. Later, yeah, guys. Definitely Thanks play sometime soon. Later. True, true. Bye. How's it going? All right, everybody, I'm going to go to wrap up stream. I know we're experiencing some weird frame lagging, but I don't know what's causing that. But I mean, hey, we are just going to wrap up now. Uh, I'm going to chat with you guys because I can pull it up here. It looks like it's actually fine now. I don't know. OK, I just got to figure out what's going on. But nonetheless, GG's. I'm going to type in chat GG's to you guys. Seriously, I appreciate all of you guys for being here, for hanging out, for being a part. Every little bit means the absolute world. So a good way to end the stream. I got to focus up a little bit there. I'm going to give a shout out to everyone who's still here. Jay, Zia, Cobzy, Just, Hamsta, Dat, King, uh, Paula, Cheese, Stefan. Um, see who else I got. Brennan, CSC, Wildcard, Ryax, Sol Sol Solaire. Uh, Rye, charge rifle time, right? Derp, good to have you here as well. I knew you guys were having a deep conversation. There's this horrible time in my... Darn laptop. I don't know what happened. And then you guys said the stream was laggy, so I, like, I know. Uh, Katrin, always appreciate you modding, bro. Seriously, I love you, man. Love you so much, dude. Um, if I missed anybody, just know that I appreciate all of you guys for being a part of the stream. I try to call out as many people as possible. Have a great rest of your day. Uh, towel user, we're just wrapping up. Akimi, we're just wrapping up. GG's feels good. Feels good. Spellbound. And yeah, we're wrapping up. She's waving across the room. <laughs> I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you guys again so much. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. If you guys want more coaching streams, comment on this, uh, this stream, you know, after the fact and yeah, we'll, we'll just, we'll grind it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye everybody.